guys. Hello. Happy Monday. Oh. It's Puzzle Monday. Oh. And we're going to work on the, the oh, mm. the please pour. Well, the the board, completing our restoration of this amazing vintage puzzle. Now look, it's very much, this puzzle is very much like. Oh, get the Lego. Our, oh, yes, 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 yes. We have more vintage typewriters. We have lots of vintage typewriters. We have Remingtons, we have Lego we have Royals, we have we have Lego. Welcome aboard. Hey George. Do we go? Yes. Sharon L, welcome aboard. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the continuation of our Remington puzzle build. A Look gift at this. by Olga Barrisonian, channel supporter. And there's our Lego. Hey, Greg B. Look, check Store it out. Price. Look, look, look at Hudson. Game's Day. Hudson. Hudson's here. Look, look, look. He's typing. Hudson, ready? S. He wants a Where's two. the U? He wants a U. Two. Yeah. D. Here we S. Go. J. Hey, Gail and Tom N Frank popping in. Welcome aboard, Gail and Tom Frank. Welcome aboard, we, Bella Estrella, 17. We, guys. DC, 322. James, wait, hold on one second before you do more of a roll call. Stuart Price. James. Got it. Better way. We built this Lego typewriter, and it actually moves, and it types, see? Yeah. I mean, Look you can't type, like, for real, it's but... It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So, let's put this on the side. What's not to like? Now, let me get, let me uh, go over here and get, get the necessary... Oh, guys. ...for today's stream. We necessary. missed last week's build. Nice to have you back in the build theater. Hudson's here. He's climbing up. I'm going to give him his last treat. And then, and then he'll go to his bed. Hudson, come on over to your bed. Hold on. I'll, I'll bring it over, James. Shoe can. I'll bring it over, James. Did my postcard arrive? Fenno asking. Fenno uh, is asking. We haven't gotten any mail yet today. Haven't gotten any mail yet today. The, the, post, the post person comes late here in um, New York. Welcome aboard, everyone. Hope you had a nice weekend. Hey, Marjolene. Welcome aboard, Prepper Joe. Stopping by for a quick hello. Shirley, I'm going to head over the window, show you the downtown view, and wave a hearty howdy-do to Shirley down in the Lower East Side. Here we go. There's your New York City today, Gotham. Hey, Shirley, we're waving. Hudson is King Hudson eating king food. Stuart Bryce. Did your... Ed Pocke up in the moderator booth is asking, did our gimbal survive the rain? It, it, I, I believe I tested it out and it did turn on. Oh, Fed West sent the postcard back in December. Oh, well then we must have gotten that one. We will double check. We must have gotten that one. Okay. Guys, we've been working this morning, working on our pro various projects and work detail. But Fed West, we appreciate it and we will look for it, out for it. Wait, was that the, Fed West, was that the beautiful card? The card with the handmade card? Wait a minute, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. There's our boom boxes from Dolly Girl Twins, eight track and cassette. Just beautiful stuff back there. Hudson's here. I don't know if a lot of people joining in if they've seen our build theater. ARB in the house. Busy B in the house. Busy BNY specifically. HC teacher up in the moderator booth, loving our view. I have all our... Oh, good. Shirley waved back. I, I have saw all you, our Shirley. Christmas cards. Yeah. I have. I no, saved everything. No, it was a everything. postcard. It was a postcard. A postcard. We save them all, guys. Yeah, so... Well, did I, you send it to Florida? I vaguely... We got Joe Burgess's um, postcard. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That, that's that awesome was one. That was in the mail. Picture in the lot, New York. Right. This was in the mail when we got back to New York. But I, I don't remember a, another postcard. I, I know this came... Um... I'll double check. But sometimes our neighbors get our mail. But we did we did receive this from Joe Burgess and our family. Yes. So James, oh, I have George. a special treat for Hudson. Nice. Then he can go to his bed so I can start the build. Okay? George just received the Smith's Meet His Murder vintage U.S. pressing vinyl in the mail. James. Oh, George, that's a great one. Now this requires on a napkin. How soon is now? Look at the drool. Look at this. This is a special Valentine's oh, it's Day treat. Look at how everywhere. cute this is. Yeah. I the might Hudster. have to send another one then, Fenno West said. Look at this. James. Look at Huds. He's loving it. That's a beautiful little cookie a for A special... Him. Uh, this is this is from our... I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah. 
Oh, Greg B says you got duplicate package from me. Greg, Greg B? Yeah. We have your package. Did you want But us he said he sent two of them by accident. Greg B, did you want us to open them now? Greg B, would you like us to... Oh, Dustin Jones popping in. Would you like us to open those now, Greg B? Before we start the puzzle build. We're getting pumped up. See if he says yes, because I'll go get it. Greg B, let us know. We're smack dab in the middle of the East Village today. Carla's getting ready to start the puzzle. Now, this is, puzzle is taking us a while, guys. Is L the original in the chat? L the original I have not seen yet. Okay, because we have a gift from L the original. We have Greg B's gifts. Yes, Greg B, would you like us to open the package now? There's two packages. Nick G is pumped up. Jim, 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 Jim. Oh, he's pumped up. So why don't what, what, while Greg B while Greg B communicates, I want to let everyone yes, know. Yes, she is here. Nick G is saying L the original is here. Oh, L the original is here. Okay, well I want to let I everyone love know. Shorts, just beautiful. Gera Asiuli is saying. No, this isn't to eat. No. I want to let everyone know that if you have a vintage typewriter. Keith Havens. Perfect. James. Welcome aboard, Keith. James. Yes. If the keys are sticking. Now, because we had a little issue. This was gifted to us by our channel supporter. A little issue. Um, Jeff Abrams sent us this. Our channel supporter, uh, Jeff Abrams, sent us this Underwood typewriter. Yep. And some of the keys stick. Yes, you, you can open them. Greg B. said. Okay. And this is what I bought. You can buy Singer all-purpose machine oil. Oh, the original is here. Good. We're going to open those right now. But Perfect. I just wanted to explain that in the restoration process, yes. I, I bought this helping. Singer uh, machine oil. Let's now, this, up is, close. this is used not only for sewing machines, vintage sewing machines, but also for typewriters, uh, vacuums, uh, household appliances, computers, bicycle gears, and lots of other uses. So if you have some sticky keys, like you can see, see how this one sticks, James? Can yep. you show that? Yeah, I see it. It's Here, I'll get right in there. Show it again. See, when I press the number three, it doesn't come back down. It's it doesn't. A, it's a to, sticky key. It's a sticky key. Right. So I need to really lubricate yeah. this whole mechanism. The lube. Right. So I'm going to do that. And, I'm, you know, I can't do it with the puzzle because it it's kind of messy to do. But I hey, want to let Rachel. you know this is the thing to buy and it will help it. So we're nice. going to put that aside. I'm going to take this, the Underwood typewriter away. Put it back. Do you need away. help with that? No, but because we want to open L. The Originals. The Originals here, though. Right. L. The Originals gifts. And Hudson, gonna, stay and put. Okay, I'm going to put, the, put it over here for safety. Welcome aboard, everybody. Hope you had a nice uh, weekend. Hope you have a nice Monday as we speak. This is a puzzle that we've been working on for a few episodes right. now. I think this is episode five. But uh, Olga Barasonian got it for us. So, James, I'm going to put our put it right here. How does that look? Yep. Good for now? Yep. Okay, so first, um, L the original, and then Greg B. Yep. How's that sound? Sounds perfect. Okay, L the original, and the Hamam Dolores sent us these. And I did the dangerous, um, you know, cutting open first. Yeah, let me get this other light cranked oh. up while you're getting that out. Oh. oh, Hudson, what is it? James, I'm getting the police for. Oh my God. I'm getting the police for. I think these must be for him. Because look at look at Hudson. Oh. 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 Oh, oh careful. Oh. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh. A little heart. Look at their little hearts on the end. Nubby. A nubby, nubby bone. bone. Wait, there's more. Look at He's Hudson. loving it out the original of Dolores. Wait. Oh, that's a fantastic. <laughs> it's a shrilling oh. chicken. Oh. James, James, wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> yeah. There's more. Thank you, Ellie, Stop original and Dolores. Wait, there's more in the package. Thank you. James, ah. look. <laughs> Bracelets. Hey, Wendy. Her oh. king. Her king. And his queen. Can nice. you see it? I see it. I see it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I wear one of those, I think. I or know, Hudson. but I'm going to... Look at the feet sticking out of his mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's a gruesome sight. Oh, it's a gruesome sight. Oh my god. He it's wants like to go the Goya play with painting. It. Okay. Ah! 
Oh man, look at that. H Hans, you're not disappearing yet oh, with it. Lord. We have more to open. Oh, oh Hudson it. wants no, no, to play. He wants to play oh, with the God. chicken. Oh, he got. He loves the. He loves a little nubby. Wait a minute, James. Hans, wait up, baby. Wait. <laughs> wait. Let me get this one bracelet on. I'll just put one on for now. Oh. It fits perfectly. Oh, it fits perfectly. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put the other one on too. But let me. Let me get. Do you want to go? Uh, but wait. We start have... the day off just straight down the hall. But. And then do Greg B? And then do Greg B. Okay. Guys. That'll be original. Dolores, it's down the hall time. It's down the hall time for okay. Hudson. Yeah. Share it all it is. It's hilarious. We're breaking our own rules. Usually we do that later. Make sure the coast is clear. Coast is clear. Okay. Oh my god, he's so excited, James. Do the non-chicken first. Do the little nubby ball. He loves it out of the original. Now throw the chicken. Look, look at the, show the face, show the face. Wait, it's too close, James. <laughs> All right. He's disappeared. He's disappeared. He George. loves them. El the original, Dolores. Do <laughs> you hear this? You hear it. It's, it's a, a hit. hit. It's a hit. It's a hit. Joseph Taylor had a good nap. Good nap, my hood. It's a hit. Oh man. Now, let me get let me go get Hudson, James. Let me go get Hudson. Give him a treat, okay? Yeah. The chicken crossed the road, sir Hudson. Let me get him a treat because he has to come back for Greg B. Yeah, the feet sticking out of his mouth, right, Marjorie? Was that classic? <laughs> Hudson, Chicken come. care. Hudson, come. Okay. Monday. He's coming back. All right. James, you hold yeah, on. I got to compose myself. Hudson, Don't, I'm going to crack up again. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Keep these aside. Keep these aside. Okay. Because we have to get the Greg B's packages. Okay. Now, there's two packages from Greg B. Now, I did the dangerous unboxing. Okay. Oh. Oh. Greg. Oh man. Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. Like Hudson! Uh, it's another ah, puzzle. Oh wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. Hudson, Hudson, Hudson. Hudson, sit, Holy sit, 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 sit. cow, one of my favorite Look ever views. New York City, Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, oh my god. Right from Dumbo. Oh, that is sick. Wow, we took a photo very similar to this one. It is. Wow, we're going to have oh. to put it up on our community page. Yeah. Greg B, this is awesome. Awesome, Greg B. Okay, oh, so let that's... Let me see, let me see, let me we see. We have to finish this 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 vintage typewriter... Typewriter puzzle. ...so we can start this one. We have more. We have other ones from um, other channel supporters that gifted us puzzles as well, so... Yeah, let me see. I think this... we have, like, a, a vinyl record puzzle, too. There's oh, lots of... Oh, man. That is sick. Look, let the, alone, the guys. The Woolworth building... Let oh, alone all the, all the puzzles fantastic. that Marjolaine uh, gifted us. Look at the old Pier 17 is in there. James, don't forget about the puzzles we we started uh, by Marjolene, the oh, U2 puzzle down in Florida that we left. Yes, yes, the U2. And she all... sent us a, a, a uh, she sent us a Rolling Stones yes. Rolling puzzle Stones as well. Puzzle. Okay, so thank you, Greg B. That's excellent. Now, I there's gotta a, zoom out. Hang on. There's another gift in here. There's another gift. Yep. You guys. Yeah, that's dope, oh. right, Miss Matthews? Oh. Oh! Ah! Ah! Yes! Oh! Yes. Look! 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 The paw! Yes! Hudson says yes! <laughs> Hudson says yes! Oh man! Fraser quizzes. So wait All a minute. All about Fraser. Look at it! <laughs> look at it! Look at it! James, ah. when we start, <laughs> wait, James, when we start this puzzle, <laughs> James, when we start oh. this puzzle, yes. it has to go with the Fraser. It has to do the Fraser in this. Guys, so when we when we do this puzzle, we're gonna James. Let, give me that for a second. Oh man, James. North Haven, Connecticut. This was me. James. So when we do this puzzle, Greg B, we're gonna yeah. do uh, the Hang trivia Frasier. Yes. With the Frasier trivia. Okay, Greg B, that is extra extra so sweet of you, so so kind. <laughs> Greg B, thank Greg you B, so fantastic much. Fantastic job. Oh, All the yeah. original. Uh, Olga Barrisonian for this one, Elvie Original, and Dolores, her mom. Thank you for the Hudson treats. All right.
Here, so get now, him, put those away because he's going to eat them. Okay. And then give him a treat to get to his bed. Okay. Guys, we are doing trivia today. I oh, have, I have a muzzle build. We got a big day Okay, ahead. Hudson, you're going to go to your bed now. Go on. James, here. Yeah. Give this to Hudson for his pizza Hutch. blanket. Bye. Right All right, so now... Now they look at this. There's drool. There's this pieces drool, of uh, Hudson Streets. So guys, I gotta get going on this puzzle build. Uh, Whoops. Oh, uh, So Elle, the original, and her mom, Dolores. Thank you Fantastic so much for the job. treats for Hudson oh, and my it. bracelets. I got one love on. I'm gonna, I have the other one right here. I'm gonna put that on in a little while. But I want to get started with this puzzle because yes. this was gifted to us by Olga Barasonian like a year ago i know and we've been it's a difficult puzzle we've been working yeah. on it but i think um, we're gonna start trivia in a little bit um once a few more people get into the chat so guys i'm gonna have to turn this puzzle around right in order to work on it because right. working on it upside down is going to be difficult for me yes so do you think we? i'll can, help you turn it around do you think we can do that you think we should roll it up no just turn it okay so i'll hold this up you here just go like this fold it over this is our puzzle mat. Right, this is our mat gifted to us by Chris. It has drool on it. That's Hudson's drool. It's actually worth more money with that on there. Yes, okay, pull it gently, gently, gently. Yep, pull it gently, hon. Okay. All right, so perfect. Hey, Mr. Humble 21. So hey, guys, Jack Rapp's in there. It's now, the puzzle is now, oh, is now upside What's down. What's going on with Jack, hon? Oh, I forgot my clubhouse ID. I had to go back to the, and get it. Yes, Jack Rab. <laughs> okay. Jack so, Rab's over by the coffee and donuts, getting his coat off. So, guys, what I've been doing is I've been working on the letters. Yes. So, James, do you see how this is the uh -oh. A goes next to the shift key? Oh, yes. I've already found a piece. Nice. So, that's what I need to do. I have to work on the letters because they're going to be Reverend like Jen, this. $2. I love Hudson so much. Oh, thank Reverend you, Reverend Jen. Reverend fantastic job. So why don't we put this over here so there's something for people to look at? Okay. What do you or, think? Or no, over there. That's over there. better? Yeah, okay. yeah, way over there. Oh, that's a great puzzle. Also, Greg B. Frazier. Oh, oh, I'm pumped up. No, today's trivia, once we get started, it was pick, picked by Keith Havens and T.A. Tickler. We have a double whammy. Well, three, because I'm going to add one in there. We have World War II Pacific Theater Trivia. Oh, there was a cookie on there from Huds. Yeah, well, you know. We have Trivial what you, Pursuit. What do you want? Kind of general knowledge trivia. And James is going to throw some music in there. Can I show an album before we start the trivia? I, I, why not? We can do whatever we want. Thanks for that, HC teacher. Hey, CAK813. Reverend Jen, fantastic job. Thanks Thank for you, Rev Jen. Treat for Hudson. Guys, I got a special album to show you today. We found this at our uh, one of our favorite stores, Ergo Records. Look at this. Hey, Noble Sweetness. Look at this. Sesomato experience. That means... Wild Sex. It's a triple album. Three pieces of vinyl. Of loungy, exotica, electronica, down tempo. You got it all. This came out in, I think, 71, I believe. No, 97, I'm sorry. I was thinking of the other one. And it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it, hon? It's, it's, an, it's an extra, extra good is yeah. what it is. Look at that. Italiano on Right Tempo record label. No, it's not the After Hours live stream, T.A. Tickler. I just had to, uh, I had to show that because it's such a wonderful listen. Three pieces of vinyl. We got it at Ergo Records for three bucks. There we Shout go. out. Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. You, and guys, in case you're wondering, we do have a vinyl records uh, store playlist where we've visited vinyl record stores. Yep. Uh, it's one of our uh, one of our favorite things to do is to go crate digging. Nice. Yep. Joseph Taylor saying they have a memorial for the Triangle Fire in October. 
but they don't have a date yet. And also, your new book is coming out in October. Two big days. True that. Nice job, guys. Thanks for popping in here. We're going to start trivia in a little bit. Carla's just getting started with the puzzle. Tons to talk about. We did a uh, QWL. rainy walk on Saturday, let me tell you. We've been working hard on our latest book about the New York City bars. And we've been, uh, you know, yeah, triple threat trivia. Staying busy. Marjolene said, did you guys get my package? Yes, Marjolene. But Let's gonna... open it. No, 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 no. That's for Hudson's birthday. It's not Hudson's oh, birthday yes, month. Marjolene, that's for Hudson's birthday. That's April. We start HUD April. Right. We're going to... Should... Uh, Marjolene, what we what we figured we would do was probably open it for a recorded video because you usually send so many things that it would be better than during a live chat. What is your opinion? Yeah, and do it during hot April. Did but the during, gimbal dry out? It seems okay it so seems far. It seems okay, but we have not really See, tested can. it. <laughs> that being said. Yes. Guys? Marjolene, let us know if you want to wait till... Hud April. That's what we were thinking. Okay, good. Marjolene says. She said, okay. Good. Yeah, for the yeah. Hudson. You know, April is Hudson birthday month. <gasps> Look at it. I'm getting it. Oh, uh, I just got the W and the E. Uh, That's underneath the three. I enjoyed Amazing Day. Wonderful little Mets to do a pet adoption event. Thanks, oh, Wendy. Yes, we, we were Hudson's so happy. Hudson's birthday is in April. We say it's April. Right. We don't have an exact date because we rescued Hudson. We'll say April 14th. No, 15. no, no. I mean, just we the don't, middle of April. We just, we say, just celebrate we the, whole just month. Say the whole month. The whole month. We don't have a specific Guys, day I, because we yeah. rescued him. I got a pen. We got triple threat trivia today. You You're going to need to get my laptop for that, right, James? No, I got it. I'll just bounce back and forth. Oh, you don't mind? No. Okay. Let me see here. I want to make sure. Uh... And he's got something over there that's okay yep. with him to do, right? Yep. Here we go. What's he eating over there? Oh, I think he's got a diner. little... Yeah, that's fine, right? Yeah. Here we go, guys. Serenity now! And yes, we did bring the Serenity now. Yes. Uh, what two countries? But ju just show show Marjolene that we did bring that from, from Florida. It travels everywhere with us. Serenity yeah, now Yeah, I bring travels. it everywhere because you never know when you're going to need Serenity. Right. What two countries were already involved in military conflict... When the U.S. entered World War II. Let's go. Let's get cooking, guys. Yeah, I saw that, Joseph Taylor. Terrible stuff. Maybe open my package next Monday. Will do, Marjolene. Oh, that sounds good, Marjolene. Yep. We got some good stuff planned this week. And this is the... Okay. I need an... I, I'm looking for Q. I have to figure yep. out the letter Q. Q. I'm waiting for the correct answer to the first trivia of the, of the day. Wow, this is... This could literally be anything. Could be... What two countries were already involved in military conflict when USA a v? entered World War II? It's not the V. Art Vandalet. Yes, very good, Stephanie Stern. Could be... You think it could be the Z? No one has got it yet. Guys, no one has got Spartans in our th in Athen Athenians. Hey, Joanne, hey, W, pop it in. Thanking George for moderating. No one? Guys, we're no Googling today. Hey, Lisa, UK girl. Love your apartment, the view from the window, and all the Hudson neons. Oh, thank you. The Hudson artworks, neons, everything. Maybe the M. It is part of the M. No, it's not part of the M. Wow. Yeah, guys, our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in Nashville today. Terrible thing. I mean, if you can't... I mean, you know, we're not... We don't... This is not a political channel. Hey, Colleen. And not current event channel by any stretch. But our thoughts and prayers go out to those poor people down there. Guys, what two countries? No one has gotten it yet. Here we go, Tomasino. What two countries were already involved in military conflict? When USA, oh, before, before World War II began, before World War II began, what two countries were involved in military conflict? I'm going to try to do my best with this category. 
Cole is asking how much did that cost to make? It was a gift from channel supporter DJ E Plasm, the Neon. From Moon Signs and Red Hook. Now they're well, uh, no, we know how much it costs because we paid we paid for it, but we we got a reduced price because we did a we did a whole highlight of yeah. the of of the person who made it, which is amazing. Um, yes. Wayne Heller at uh, Moonsign. Yeah, no, you Marty can, Lewis. It's when the war started. You can email him. Yes. You can email Wayne Heller at Moonsign, and he'll give you a price quote. Uh, it depends. The price of getting getting uh, custom neon done greatly depends on the um, on the complexity of it. Yes. So please email Wayne Heller if you're interested in getting a custom oh, neon. Custom Guys, neon. I'm one more time, and then we're gonna. A hint um what two countries were involved in military conflict when world war ii began i think i misled the the puzzle there the correct answer here we go three two one japan and china no one got that one wow so this is going to be tough world japan war ii japan and china we're off to a roaring start trivia-wise today. T.A. Tickler picked this topic. And Keith Havens picked general trivial pursuit type knowledge. What is the neon guy's name? Wayne Heller. Wayne Heller, Viva. And and the 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 um who's in the chat um uh for moderating? Gorge is in there? Yep. Gorge, would you mind putting the link to when we went to Wayne Heller's studio? to pick up the Hudson Neon because there's a contact information for Wayne in that video. Yes. I know that that's complicated to do, but if you, if you T.A. Tickler got it. Can manage that. Oh, good. He had, I'm scrolling back. T.A. Tickler, off to a start. No, but uh, what about the, uh, the contact info, if he, if he can do that, James? Oh, yes. Who is that now? If Gorge can put the contact yes. info. Or any moderator. Right. Or we got, whoever else we got is a in... whole team up there. Right. HC Teacher, Ed Pake, Nick G, George. All right. Hey, Lori Lou NG. <gasps> HCT said the correct answer, too. Thanks for that, Stephanie Stearns. HC Teacher on the board as well. Now, you see these have a little tiny bit of blue in them? Yep. So, James, while you're looking... Hide for first. I could use your help. Yes. Now, this is very complicated. Tiny bits of blue. See how this has a tiny hint of blue in it? A tiny hint. A blush of blue. Right. A blush of blue because that will help me figure out... The neon's not helping this because you see all that blue from Hudson all over everything from my angle. Oh, so then then don't bother. I'm but, looking though. And, and anything that, that has a specific... Uh, letter that you can discern all right. all right stephanie stearns if you could give me a rundown i think i got two of them hey Eric. joanne aw dollar 99 super sticker oh thank you joanne, joanne. aw extra good appreciate fantastic the support fantastic job thank joanne you. off to a great start today christian hansen says google says and noble sweetness says germany and france have been in conflict for 80 years hey guys I'm going by my trivia things there. So many people got that right, James. See, Ruby. Lots of people got that. Marjolene Singh. I'm going to scroll back, guys, and count them off. China and Japan is what my source says. We're, law, we're in a conflict before World War II started. I'm scrolling back. I'm scrolling back. Stro scrolling or strolling? Strolling through the chats. Marjolene got China and Japan. Everybody gets a point that got it and I missed. Marjolene. That's our house rule. Yeah. Yeah. Marty Lewis might have got it all. Yeah, Marty got it, I believe. Hang on. See, guys, first, right off the bat, I already dropped the ball. <laughs> that was a terrible job on my part. Terrible job. The, I'm off to a good start with these World War II, <laughs> World War II questions. You know, who else got? Oh, China and Japan. There's Marjolene. Ruby got China and Japan. She gets a point. Ruby. See, and then it scrolls all the way down to the bottom. I can't keep my finger on it. You need to keep your finger on the pulse of things, yep. James. Yeah. 
Guys, if you miss, I think Marty Lewis got it as well. There's Ruby's. Joanne loves watching Carla do puzzles. Oh, thank you. What about, yeah, I know, Valerie Roger, I know. Here we go. Marty Lewis got it. Marty Lewis gets a point. Marty Lewis gets a point. Here we go. All right, so <laughs> first question in the books. <laughs> oh boy, you're, you're you're batting a thousand. Oh, I'm off to off and running Look, here. But I'm slowly, as you're talking, I'm slowly getting pieces, James. Ah, uh, we're hip deep in this now, guys. Next is general knowledge trivia. General automotive knowledge? Yeah. Here we go. This is easy. What artist was the first to receive a gold record? Ah. What musician was awarded the first gold record? Here we go. Hey, Johnny Azaria TV. Michelle Norton in the house. Dolly Girl Twins in the house. Here we go. See, that's the an a edge of the ampersand. What artist was the first? James, yep. do you see, I'm What looking... musician was recorded, was awarded the first gold record? I'm gonna look for the edge of an ampersand. HC teacher got it. Perry Como, HC no teacher, way. out in the lead. God, you guys are great. Extra good. HC teacher, that's a fantastic job. You know, HC teacher always doing wonderfully uh, moderating up in the booth with Nick G and George and James. Ed Pake, Ariana. All our moderators are fantastic. I have a question for you. Yeah, well, shoot. Go ahead. What do you think this little dash is from? If you need to look at an old typewriter for me because I don't, I don't have all the pieces on this. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. I can turn it over. Little That's dash will do you. Oh, it's under the mine. It's HC under the three teacher, quarters. I found job. it. Still have an old. Cuomo, Como record here. Yeah, Perry Como. I got introduced to Perry Como at Chris, Christmas. Perry Como's Christmas album. <gasps> Welcome oh. aboard, guys. Happy Monday. Oh, I'm getting things. Yep. All our moderators are the best in the business. You know that, guys. So, James, look at these... Blah, blah, blah specific things that you could always help with. Nice. Yes, I got T.A. Tickler got it. I got that he got the first question right. T.A. Tickler, check. Thanks, Stephanie. H.C. Teacher, check. Marjoline, Ruby, Sino. I missed that one. J.D. here. Missed that one. Boy, that was a that was a great job I did there. I got Marty. <laughs> great job. I got T. A. Tickler. Thanks for that, Stephanie Stearns, for untangling that Hornet's absolute nest. fishing line butterfly tangled knot of mess there I made on the first question. Second question, H. C. Teacher, right off the bat. Perry Como was the first artist awarded a gold medal. I mean a. Uh, Gold medal. Oh, Gold medal. James, what what are you saying? What Gold are you saying? Record. Gold record, guys. Okay, I have to get water. I'm yeah. gonna get water. That that's that said. Right now. Yes. Hey Michelle Norton. Thanks for that. Guys, the Hudson Extra Good Mug. In case you're interested in helping support our channel, we do have channel merchandise, including mugs. Just a mugs. little commercial Fantastic. break. Yeah, an elevator pitch. An elevator pitch, if you will. I'm going to put yeah. up the Hudson Mug right there.
This is difficult, but... Two more Super Chats. But I can do it. Stephanie Jeez. Stearns. Olga Barasonian. <gasps> Olga! Olga! Wow! Barasoane. Thank $10 you. Super Sticker. Oh, my God, Olga. Fantastic Thank job. Thank you Look, so much. We're still at it. We're still at it. I'm, 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 I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm doing it. It's a difficult puzzle, and but then there's a one fun, more. fun, fun, fun puzzle. Olga, fantastic job. Thanks to the Super Chat, 10 bucks. Whip It Gaming, 499 pounds. I'm coming to New York next month from UK. <gasps> oh! Would love to, it all sales by James. Would love... To meet Hudson? You recommend I visit. I love historic buildings, great food. Should I try athletic street food? Whip It Gaming, we'll set you up with a nice little... Uh, we'll find yes, out... Yes, please email us and we can give you some... Uh, some of our personal uh, recommendations. Favorites. Yes, personal recommendations. Extra good. Please Extra email good. us. Extra good. Thanks for the four ninety nine pounds. Thank you. Whip it gaming. Thanks, Olga. We're working on your puzzle as we speak. Fantastic job, guys. Stephanie Stearns has to take me by the ear and lead me down the chat trail. The chat trail. The tra <laughs> I, I I got it. I'm telling. I'm telling you, she's taking care of me. James, I'm looking specifically. Ah. James. Hey, for... D-Nex, pop it in. Here we go. Yeah, T.A. Tickler. We're going to get into... Madonna trivia is a whole other thing. Yeah. That's a whole week. James. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my own trivia question right now. James, I, I have a question for you. Wait a yes. minute. Yes. Oh, no. I forgot now. I'll, yes. I'll remember. When I remember, I'll, I'll ask you. What Bob Dylan album was born in New Orleans? And he recorded most of it there. With Daniel Lanois. Now you don't have to give too much away. James. No, what Bob Dylan album recorded in New Orleans? Bob would take many, met, uh, an album guys, many late night walks, V and B. Oh, thanks. Michelle Norton says, Jane K and H, give me a reason to go to New York. I've never been there. Aww. Busy BNY. <laughs> Extra good. Throwing up a certain emoji. Guys, I'm looking. You know, I'm a big Bob Dylan fan. Tom Brady, the flight attendant, put me in coach. Guys, you guys are on fire today. I'll tell you that much. I have not seen the right album answer yet for Bob Dylan recorded. There it is. Ruby got it. Oh, mercy. Guys, if you read Bob Dylan Chronicle, Volume 1, Ruby got it. Oh, mercy. Beautiful, beautiful album. Released 1989. A return to form after the commercial disappointments of knockout, Knocked Out and Loaded and Down in the Groove, which I don't think are that bad. Down the Groove has those amazing final four songs. Knock Down Loaded has enough to keep anyone busy to one song. You know what it is. One beautiful song. <gasps> I just got the pic pic piece of the W. Yeah. See, now I'm looking for the Q. I Brownsville need... Girl, you know that. Whippet Gaming, another Dolly 99. Oh, thank you, Whippet Gaming. Pounds, would love to. I will visit the Ghostbuster Firehouse for sure. Oh, yes, yes. And if no, you... we don't have that album on vinyl. We don't have that album on CD. Oh, Mercy is fantastic. Yeah, we don't. We are missing a lot of Dylan on on vinyl. Dylan has a massive catalog. Well, what happened, guys, was that at one point we got rid of a lot of our vinyl, so we're collecting it back, like right. slowly, slowly, slowly collecting it back because right. we um we just simply moved so many times and. Uh, you know, we got rid of some of them. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's it's true that we had to, um, you know, simplify our lives and, and, you know, get rid of a lot of stuff at one point. And now slowly we're trying to build the collection back. Yes. I mean, that's the God's, God honest truth. Yeah. Jennifer Herring's a fan of Mr. Broccoli. Broccoli says! I like puzzles. Look at Texas, that, Texas Tickler saying, Broccoli side eyes haunt me at night. Sometimes Carla 
Where's the MTV Moon Man? Oh, we got him right here. Oh, should I go get him? Yeah, go get him. Marjorie wants to see the old MTV Moon Man. I got him right here. Hold Guys, on. we have to clean up whenever we start streaming. I'm going to do a trivia question right now. Olga's throwing up the Hudson Angel emoji. World War II. Here, Here we comes. go, guys. Look at that. Guys. It's in a pr place of prominence inside our kitchen. Oh, pride of place. Look at that, guys. I'm going to take it out after. But I'm doing a World War II. No, this was a gift from Margeline, guys. Cole's asking, did we win a moon man on MTV? No. No. Maybe Hudson did, and we're not aware. Here we go, guys. What was the last major battle of World War II? I think I can handle that one. What was the last major battle of World War II? And thanks again, Whippet Gaming. Dollar ninety-nine pounds. This is for a Hudson treat. Oh, Whip it Gaming. thank you, Whippet Gaming. Fantastic job. Extra good. That's an absolute fantastic job. James, and then I could actually use your... Okinawa, T.A. Tick, Tickler got it. I know he didn't Google. T.A. Tickler, thanks for your service. I believe you were in the Air Force. Carla's dad was in the Navy. Yes, in World War II. My father's a Marine. Passed away. My grandfather... Army, World War II. James, so I, I, I have a, um, not a question for you, but, but something that you can find, that you can help. Okinawa. If, if you want. Yep. If you choose to accept the challenge. Yeah. I have Beatles t-shirt, Okinawa. Nice, HC teacher. That's a fast, that's a nice one. T.A. Tickler now, and H.C. Teacher, and Ruby tied for first. I get nervous with those World War II questions because of the absolute cluster I created with that first one. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I'll just... That was like Pizzagate. Well, not maybe not that bad. So, yeah. James, I'm looking for a... My very... dad was... Kevin, Barbara Thompson. Oh, my God. Oh, thank Barbara. you for your service, Barbara. Fantastic. Barbara, where did your dad serve? Because my dad was in, in, in the Navy in World War II, and he was stationed in Saipan. Yes. He was, um, his, like, his unit was responsible for the, um, the seaplanes, the PB, um, what yep. are they called? PB9s? PBYs? PB, PBY. PBY, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Wendy's dad was also in the Marines. Always a Marine, Wendy. And an uncle in the Army during World War II. He was in the Aleutians and Philippines. Oh, wow. So, James, I need a very specific, specific, specific piece. Are you, are you up for the challenge of helping me find it? Hey, Christian Hansen. James. Jack Rob's uncle was in Saipan. That's oh, where your no dad way! Was. Yep. Oh, they had to know one another. They yep. had to have known one another. I mean, it's not yep. a very big place. Barbara Thompson said he never made it overseas. He was one that worked on the aircraft. Oh. Yep. Stuart Price's U.S. Air Force dropped a boom on Japan. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I, Whip It Gaming, we appreciate it. You saying it's not much? No, 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 no. Oh, no. A, no. Every, no. Whip I mean, It Gaming, we appreciate it. And guys, we appreciate your support. We appreciate you just giving the th a thumbs up for this just video. Just a thumbs up. Subscribe yeah. if you'd In like. All honesty. That's all both free. Or just sit and watch. We met someone this weekend at Ergo Records who never chats nothing, just watches us and has a great time. Fantastic, right, huh? She doesn't know how to chat, but um, her, her, her daughter's going to teach her. Yes. So, James, this is the challenge. Marty said, my father was a fighter pilot in the 8th Air Force, 359th Fighter Group, stationed at East Wertham, England. Oh, wow. Nice. The Air Force was part of the Army in World War II. Air Force came afterwards. Got it. Marty, nice job. Wow, that could have been a, a, a trivia question right there. Yeah. James, so lis listen to this. Are you Valerie, up for Valerie, stick with it. You'll get some. James, are you up for a challenge? Yep. Do you see this piece? Oh, nice Jack Rap. James, look at this piece. Right. It's going to be mostly like this innocuous, like gray Brownish. with some bars, but then it has, and it's shaped like this. See? And it only has the one nubbin. That's it. Do you see how it, it has yeah, to fit that. there? So if you want. 
That's not it, right? There's one. Look. Oh, no, no. It was close. It's like this shape. Let me look. So look, keep that one and then see if you can find it. Because, you know, that just little things like that help me. Because the little I'm, things. You know, sometimes you I get a little away. overwhelmed with all the, you know, things that I got to do over here. Stand in the way. Nope, that's not it. Wow. Yeah, it's mostly that brown. That's what I'm saying. And then anything yeah. that you have that has a discernible letter that you think I can figure out what letter it is. Right. Obviously, I could use that because Let me check that's the on only it. really way to get yep. this puzzle together, I think. Wow, my grandfather was a ambulance driver in World War I, Marty Lewis. Oh, my gosh. Thank everybody for your service. <laughs> Stuart Bryce emoji game is strong. James, tell us the story. Mr. Bob Newell, we'll get into a little story time later. B-52 still in service. Probably the best bomber ever. T.A. Tickler saying. All right. Here we go. General knowledge trivia. I can breathe a sigh of relief. James, I'm still looking for the letter Q, oddly enough. I haven't located a discernible piece of a Q. Yep. So if in your travels... Yep. You spot something that could definitely be part of a queue. Who right was the first U.S. It. president to visit all 50 states? Here we go. General knowledge coming out of left first field. First U.S. president to, to visit, visit all 50 states. Oh, all right. Who was he? Valerie Rogers says my dad was involved in the Berlin airlift. Oh, wow. Wow. My father was very famous. He was the lead singer in the Paramounts. Whip no. it Gaming sang with songs like Poison Ivy. No and way. Bad Blood. Poison Ivy. Poison. You can look, but you better not touch. Are you musical? Poison Ivy. Okay. Oh, my God. That's royalty. Wait, you got to bring the sing and get the Mitch, James. Yes, yeah, sing along with Mitch, guys. Wait up. Nixon, Kristen Hansen. I'm going to see if anybody got it before Christian Hansen. It is Nixon. I think Christian Hansen got it. Yes, Christian Hansen on the board with a point. Now, James, is our channel supporter musical as well? Because if you are you have musical such a, as well? Right, if you are such a musical, you know, Whip it family, gaming. right? Whip it gaming. Are you are you musically nicely said, Marjorie? Are you mu musically gifted as well? Yep. Because I mean, I feel like you either. You know, like a lot of people, they just they just have it in their genetics. Like they are just they're just musically gifted. Josh Dean says, "Stop, James." Josh Dean, sorry, got a little carried away. You know, I'm going to show you, guys. When we left for Florida, when we See, left for Florida, talking. we had a package show up like a day or two later. We got back to New York City. It was still waiting. Still more. Sing along with Mitch on vinyl. 1959. Look at this, guys. It comes with a songbook. Pages you can tear out and pass around the living room. <laughs> tear out. Tip throw to the tulips with me in a shanty in a shanty town. Beer barrel polka. That's right. You said it. It has the beer barrel polka. Roll out the barrel. See, it's all right here. And you can uh, you can cut these out and play it. Hey, Danette and Anthony popping in saying hello there, James and Carla. Back to the drawing board. You got it. Hey, Danette. Hey, Anthony. This is from our channel supporter. Can we say? Yes, of Alan course. Alan Levy. It includes special sing-along sheets. Sing-along with Mitch. When you're sweet 16, that's of the era, huh? Good night, sweetheart. I'm just wild about Mary. Oh, that's a favorite of mine. Wait up. Where's that one? Are you going to sing it, James? Yeah, where's that? They're going to want no, you to Josh sing. No, Josh Dean wanted me to pull a plug on that. He didn't like the Poison Ivy singing, I don't think. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't want to, you know. I'm just wild about Mary. We don't want to lose any of I our know. subscribers know. because of James' singing. That was but the sound of all the phones clicking off. No, no, losing subscribers. Yeah. Like, we, we check and, like, our subscriber count is now down because James has attempted to sing. Yeah, no, it's burning out the counter. 
<laughs> the downward counter. Yeah, JD here. How's the net doing? What happened with the net? Beer Barrel Polka, a.k.a. Rosalinda. Right, Valerie Roberts? Rosalinda. Gummy Bear. Hudson's right here. Rosalinda's eyes. Billy Joel. Yep. Wendy said, oh, my God, James, my grandmother loved Mitch Miller. We had the Christmas one. Yes, yeah, so did we, Joey and E.W. And all the family would sing along. We'd get in a circle and stand in my uncle's living room. You know? Most of my uncles had their load on. They're nuts. And everyone would get up and sing. And Looks so much like a P to me. Oh boy, this is a little, 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 uh, challenging, a little challenging. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to go with, uh, one of our, me and Carla's favorite. Yes, he's coming around the mountain. Justine, don't get me started. What entertainer was famous for saying, my mother thanks you, my father thanks you, and my sister thanks you, and I thank you? Jack Rabb is saying, oh, that sounds... Let's use Jack Rabb's question next. Guys, the Jack Rabb... Jack, you'll have to let me know when someone gets it correct now. Right, because we don't know the answer to that one. What? In, well, I want to make sure. I have an idea. Right. What entertainer was famous? This is the... The, the unboxing was from Greg B. Greg today. B. And, uh, and also L the Original and L, the Mom the Royal are Scott Hudson um, toys. And yep. Greg B. got the puzzle. Yes. And the next chat, when we do the puzzle, Frazier questions. Yep. Jack Rabbit is question. This is the question. What entertainer was famous for saying, my mother thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I thank you? Ah. Jack, let me know who it is. Who gets it first? I'm actually thinking. Uh, I'm like. I'm thinking about it wisely. Like what that would all mean, and I think I might. Have I liked it. all these guesses. That's for sure. Jack, who gets it? Guys, this is in Jack Rab's hands. We're waiting for Jack to chime in on who got it first. Who got it first? Here we go. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that one. Pretty oh god, Mr. Bob Newell. C A K eight one three got it. First. Yep. Jack Rab on the horn. Right on the money. C A K eight one three got it. I'm scrolling back. George M. Cohen. C A K gets a point on the board. Nice question, Jack. Nice. Wow, look at this. I liked all the guesses. Hey, Pookie Six popping in. Thanks for that great question, Jack Rabb. That was awesome. You get a point for that. Jack Rabb's on the board with a point for getting a great question. I loved it. I'm closing in. Oh my God, I'm getting it. Slowly but surely, I really, really am. George M. Cohen was the answer. Cohen, yep. C-A-K on the board. How old is this Trivial Pursuit game? I don't know how old the Trivial Pursuit is. I remember, when did that come out, hon? I'm not sure. That was before we met, right, Even I mean, that's old. Oh, that's old, yeah. It's in the movie Yankee Doodle Dandy. C.I.K. said. Nice job. What was the original title of Blondie's Heart of Glass? What was Blondie's original title of Heart of Glass? I think pretty much their biggest hit. I love when that music starts. Oh.
Look at that. I got the F and the G. Yep. D, F, G. See, D, F, G, H. And then there's the G. Oh, yeah, Bob B. said it's great to see Ray doing good. Oh, yes, we visited yes. him. It was so nice. We're so happy. Yep. Oh, there's the R. Oh, my God. I got the hookup. Hey, Will Fargus popping in. Look at that. <laughs> Josh D. James, look, look, on look. On fire today. Look at how I'm getting the hookups. Look at how <laughs> yeah. it's slowly I know. coming together. It's slowly coming together. Y and then U. Oh. Someone got it. Yes. Michael Norton, once I had a love. Michelle Norton, I'm sorry. No, Ruby got it first. I'm sorry, Michelle. Ruby got it first. Once I had a love. Ah, Ruby, I'm so glad you got that. I'm so glad someone got it. Extra good. <laughs> that is just a crazy good song. Oh. You know, we're huge Blondie fans, huge Debbie Fair, Harry, Chris Stein fans. Guys, if you're new to our channel, I just want to let you know yep. that we have a book called Storefronts, Storefront NYC, coming out by Prestel Publishing this October, 2024, this October, I mean 2023, not 2024. Co-founder of Blondie wrote the introduction for it. It's all about mom and pop stores of New York City. Yep. And, and with our um, photography. Fantastic job. And we hope to have... Oh, super... Ch uh, Ray Alvarez looks great. Yeah, he's looking better, right, Shirley? Oh, he's doing great, yeah. In another... Uh, hang on. Hang on, guys. Is that the Whip end? It Gaming, $1.99. My father taught me drums. I'm a percussionist. Oh, I Whip knew it. Whip It Gaming, $1.99 pounds. I knew it. I knew you'd be Fantastic musical. Fantastic job, yep. I knew it. Nice job, Whip It Gaming. That's extra, extra good. Any word on the book launch? No, Dolly Girl Twins, no. We're, we we're we have to wait to, to see if Joey right. finds a new space. It is on the Penguin Random House catalog page. Right, because um, the, the book is on the Random... Prestel is a division of Random... Of, Penguin Publishing. Right, Random House. Yeah. You know, you could find it on there, but we're going to announce it and show the cover to our Patreon and members first, and then we'll announce it to everybody. The Heart of Glass song, just to let you know, that little rhythm box, the you ticka, ticka, just... ticka before Clem Burke's disco groove pops in, was from the state-of-the-art Roland CR-78 drum machine. You know how it goes? Oh, and that's doo -doo 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 -doo, cool. And then it kicks in. Oh, guys. Oh, HC Teacher. Is HC Teacher in the chat? Yes, HC Teacher's teacher. up in the moderator booth. I've got my Lego, Lego heart. heart on. And look, these are typewriter keys. Do you see <laughs> yeah, them? My cool. J and K. Yep. Someone's saying that vinyl, HC Teacher, that Madonna vinyl the other day, great find for someone, rare. Yeah, HC Teacher. Oh, they yep. uh, the one at... Bye uh, Bye Baby. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's just, um, you know, we, we try to we try George to has limit a rolling it. turntable, nice. We try to limit our, um, yep. our purchases, and we just, uh, you know, yep. it was a... Uh, it was a fair price, the $40, but we just, you know, we can't buy everything. Just nice. put it that way. Yep, Dolly Girl Twin says going to fly out and get it in person from us. Oh, extra good. Nice. And Cole's thinking of making a coffee table book that turns into a coffee table. <laughs> Kramer, classic. Classic. That's a classic. All right, guys. I'm going to try to do my best. Ah, oh, this is a good one. What is the code name given to Germany's plan to in, to invade Russia? What was the code name given to the Germany's plan to invade Russia? Obviously, we're on World War II, guys. Reverend Jen. I don't know if... Debbie, Harry, and Clint Eastwood ever did a collaboration together, Gummy Bear. Not sure. Or Dirty Harry. No, believe it or not, I had heard this. There it is. Ruby got it. 
Operation Barbarossa. T.A. Tickler, Ruby is on fire today with the World War II trivia. I, James, I do need your help on something. I'm looking. No Googling. Looking for Q. Not saying you did. And I haven't found anything that resembles a Q. Is it a funny Q? You know, because sometimes the capital Q. No, it's not too strange, right? And I haven't put any part of the letter Q together where I have other ones where I have like. That's not it, right? No, that's definitely, I thought that was an O. I oh. thought that was the O. Oh. And next to it, the P. But you're thinking that's a Q and I just didn't get the end of it? You didn't get that little bottom uh, who dad. No, huh, that's possible. Let me move it over there and see. All right, hang on. I suppose it's possible. Oh, here we go again. T.A. I just, Josh Dean said, I see my name first. And also T.A. Tickler got it. And I remember the gum package as mini records. I have the blondie one. Oh my God, JD here, you have that? What? Who? Uh, what? The chewing gum that was like little mini records, and he has the blondie one. No. JD here. Oh. Oh my God. Can you take God. a picture of it for us, please? I would love to see oh it. Oh my God. Guys, I have to go back. Barbarossa, Ruby, got it first. I see. <gasps> I just found it. I just found it. Josh Dean got it. Joseph Taylor and T. A. Tickler. All right, here we go. Here we go. T.A. Tickler gets a point. Joseph Taylor gets a point. And Josh Dean gets a point. There's some drama happening. I hear it. Do you hear it, James? Yeah, I hear it. Guys, fantastic job. Dolphin's in the house. Oh, hey, Dolphin. Hey, Dolphin. How are you? Chris Bates in the house trying to get into the game. Answered in this order, James and Carr. T.A. Tickler, Joseph Taylor, Josh Dean. And then I even gave Ruby a point. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Doll fan in the house. Pacific Theater questions. T.A. Tickler, I'm doing my best. I'll try to, I'll try to keep it to that. T.A. Tickler. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. There's that. Yeah, There's... Jack Rab's calling me out. This goes here. For some reason, Jack Rab, I'm having trouble with these World War II trivia questions. Anytime I mess up. This goes you know? next to here. And it's obviously this way. I'm going to try World War II again. Here we go. I feel this like I'm, uh... is next to here. Here we go. And then, wait a minute. No, no, no. The commas, the dots go first. This is over here. Wow. This is complicated. Complicated. J, K, L. Here we go. L, and then this is above the L. So, hold on, if it was this way. And then the L, no, that's the K, the K. Here we go, guys. Which U.S. general was the overall commander of the U.S. Army, Navy, and Air Force and then in the, the Philippines L. when the Japanese mission occurred? What commander? Let's go. Try to take a break on me. Mick Jagger says hi to Hudson. Wolfgang Production 7. Oh, Hudson's waving. Extra good, Mick Jagger. Todd Subject. Hey, KJ and H from Missouri. Just <gasps> oh. now able to connect. Great wall art. Picture, green background of Hudson behind you. Thank you. What's the story? How you got it type of picture? Oh, that's the um, Dean Russo. MacArthur. 
I got it. That's in. this was done by oh James. Yeah, hang it, on. This was done by but but just just stay. I gotta see who got Dean MacArthur Russo. first. Okay. Just let me sort this out because I've been doing a horrible job. Stephanie Stearns got it first. Stephanie Stearns got it first. MacArthur. Stephanie Stearns on the board with MacArthur. Now, Dean Russo. Dean Russo is, is the artist, the amazing artist, who painted Hudson's portrait. He uses a picture. You can get your dog or cat. Oh, we cat. got a super chat, too. Uh, portrait done. Oh, yep. by who? Whip It Gaming, $1.99. Oh, My last you, super chat for the night. Catch you next one. Oh, thank you, Thanks, Whip, Whip Gaming. Gaming. Keep on drumming. Poison Ivy. You can look, but you better not touch. Fantastic job. Extra good. Whip It Gaming. Stephanie Stern's got it. <gasps> oh, let me show the Dean Russo one for our fan. Guys, we visited Dean Russo out in... Uh... Red Hook. No. It oh, was... no, Sunset Park. Yeah, what's the name of that place? That shopping area now? Uh, Industrial City? Industry City. Industry Dean City. Dean Russo gave us this portrait of Hudson. Also, the art and illustration of Larry Whitler. Uh, Nick Gobaleski on this one. We got a whole ton of them. ARB. We got a lot of artists. Yeah. All painted Hudson because Hudson's just so beautiful. Look at look at how I just got this almost this whole row uh, across here. Yes. I've been silently, you know, slowly, Industry slowly City. working. Thanks to that, Anthony. Gumby making a cameo. Yeah, Gumby's up there. Pokey's up there. Cole. Yeah, Dean Russo, fantastic. And and HC teacher put up the link. Now I'm going to show you the Moon Man. Marjolene got us. Let me open the box. Guys, if you grew up watching MTV like we did, let me tell you, this is a damn cool thing to have. Look at this. I'm going to put it neatly back in the box when we're done. Look at this, guys. The MTV Moon Man Video Music Award. How cool is that? I remember watching MTV, my friend's house every day. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Should I leave it out of the box right over here for now? Why not? Let me leave them right here where you can see them. Here, put them right there. Marjolene, fantastic job with that. Yeah, I want my MTV. Remember that? I want Wendy? my MTV. Even uh, Madonna did a promo for uh, MTV at one point. I want my, I want my, remember yeah. that? Yeah. I want Get my Get your money MTV. for nothing and your checks for free. Hey, TDP. We just visited the Museum of Modern Hudson. <laughs> ah. Yeah, the Hudson Museum would be great. Yep. Weird Al. <laughs> Hudson Museum. I want my U.S. chef. <laughs> All right. No, MTV is not the same anymore. When they used to actually play music. VJs. VJs. Mark Goodman. Ran into him at a Springsteen concert. Me and my friend. Here we go. General knowledge trivia. What book about a band of rabbits became a bestseller in 1972? Here we go.
Please put the Moon Man on the table in the back. Honey. Oh, okay. Moon Man. Got it, Margeline. Water ship down. What's the correct answer? And the first one to get it. How's that, Margeline? Yep. Is that what you're thinking? Looking good? Looking good, Margeline. Ask Margeline if that's a good placement because I can adjust it. Yep. James. Yep. Water I ship down. It looks like Patricia McMillan on the board. Patricia McMillan. On the board. Water ship down. Look at it. There it is. How many pieces is this puzzle, hon? Uh, 750. Nice. Roma Food saying Carla shows great patience. He must be out if Carla's wearing shorts. I'm cold in New York. Wolfgang Production said. No, no, no heat's on in our. In our we, 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 we can control our heat, so we, we have it off. We have we have a sun bakes our apartment every day, and yep. it gets really warm in here, guys. Yep. Let me put here. Put the box back there as well. Patricia McMillan said one of my all-time favorite books. See? Patricia, nice job. No, I'm just going to leave the box over here for a second. I always thought it was a very sad uh, thing. If that's okay. Yep. Martha Quinn is on channel 95.7 in the PNW. Nice, Michelle Norton. Martha Quinn. Downtown Julie Brown. Oh, it's like downtown oh, Julie Brown. Oh, I got a huge hookup just now. No, the Josh Dean, it's out the window. Huge hookup. Yeah, T.I. Tickler on the same wavelength. Huge hookup. 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 That's how far we're along, guys. I'm getting there. The Olga puzzle of the typewriter. Olga Barasonian. Yep. Throwing down the gauntlet. We got some, we got, we, our channel supporters Kennedy, have, yep. have sent us some tricky puzzles. Yep. Nina Blackwood. Trixie. Nina Blackwood's still on the radio too. We, we heard her while we were traveling on the car radio. She has that like 10 pack a day voice. Oh yeah, true that. Yep. Oh my God, Sharon Elm said Martha Quinn and I went to the same high school. No way. Nice. In Shrubby was in ninth grade when MTV first aired. There he is, Marjolene the Moon Man. Almost done, right, Adriana? XC. Yeah. Who are the guys VJs on MTV? Pookie Sixth. And then there was the tall blonde guy. I always liked Matt Pinfield. Did the uh, heavy metal hour or something. Here we go. Guys, back to music. K and L. Come on. K, L. U and I. You and I. What is the name of the track that you two and Pavarotti sing together on? I think that's pretty easy. What U2 track does Pavarotti guest on? It's an amazing song, amazing video. Wolfgang Production says rain coming tonight. Yeah, Danette and Anthony love Matt Pinfield. 120 minutes, yes. Yes, Danette and Anthony, yes. Camp Town races. Patricia McMillan, Miss Sarajevo. Yes. You got it. Patricia Extra McMillan good. on the board with two. I'm so glad someone got that. Miss Sarajevo, if you we watch the that video, ever. they uh, highlight the beauty contest held during when Sarajevo was undergoing the horrific bombing. Don't they, we have the best shot ever? The city held a, a beauty contest, and the contestants wore sashes that said, please don't kill us. James, don't we have the best shot ever? So yep. knowledgeable. And in the video of you two, 
you see the uh, winner accept her crown. And you see for a minute she's smiling, and then she kind of for a minute you see her face wash with like, oh wow. Right. What do I? What? Why am I smiling? Kind of thing. Yeah, and, and and there is reality still going on. People are still getting killed daily. You know, it's quite a moment in that video. Patricia McMillan, fantastic job. Mark Armstrong said, Bono and me went to different high schools at the same time. <laughs> Mark Armstrong. Let me work that one out. Hang on, i got to get a, a chart. Michelle Norton says, I was in middle my middle 20s when MTV came on and I had it on 24-7. Yes. Yep, and watched the first video played, Video Star. My friend served in the Canadian Army in Sarajevo. JD here. Must have been tough stuff. Oh, wow. Fact, Carla, I didn't chat before I found your channel. Pookie Smith 6 says. Aww. Nice. I'm glad you feel comfortable here. It's like a, our family. We have a family. Yep. He used to do the same thing on the radio. Someone would pick a number and Matt would play whatever song number on his iPad corresponded. Every chat needs a remedial. Jack Rabb is a learner, and I'm proud to fill that role. No, Jack <laughs> Rabb, you're doing great. I should get a point, too, because I've never gotten one ever. <laughs> Who said Bella that? Estrella. Oh, you got to stick with it. You're, you're, all of a sudden, something will pop up. Your time up is, will, will appear. Some random thing will come on, and you'll know. James, can you pour more water in my cup? Yes, I will. When you get a chance. No, no rush. No, I got it. I don't want to take you away from the chat. Guys, the puzzle's coming along nice. Olga gifted us this beautiful puzzle. It looks like a real typewriter. Sure does. This could be anywhere, so let's put that one away. Here's your water. Thank you. I think broccoli popped in while I was gone. Bella Strauss said Miss Sarajevo too. Yeah. I loved old school MTV. Video killed the radio star, right? Best family ever, Olga's saying. We do. We really do. All right, guys. Here it goes again. World War II. Oh, no. Not another Pacific one. Pacific Theater quiz question. Coming down the pike at right at you. Dive bomber pilots from which U.S. aircraft carrier drew first blood against two of the Japanese carriers at the Battle of Midway? You get that? Oh, my God, James. That's, that's complicated. What dive bomber pilots from which U.S. carrier, which U.S. aircraft carrier drew first blood against two of the Japanese carriers at the Battle of Midway? Crazy battle. Yeah, hard one. I think someone got it already. Hang on. Yes, someone did. Hang on. I got to sort it out, guys. James, I don't think you can get up and down is it that much. I know. I think, I think Jack Rab got it. Extra good, Jack Rab. Jack Rab on the board with the USS Enterprise. <laughs> USS Enterprise. That's what it is. Extra good. Yeah, Jack Rab on the board. Two points. And that was a two-pointer? Yeah, it was the U.S. Enterprise. Guys, we're on the board here. Wow, Carla's doing her puzzle. Difficult, difficult, difficult. April 6th is my Pomeranian's birthday. Nice. Jack Rapp, big round of applause for Jack Rapp. Let's go check on the city view while Carla's working on the puzzle. Guys, it's a great day. Overcast in New York. There it is. 
Thanks for that, Ed Pake. Fantastic job. The USS Midway aircraft carrier is a museum in San Diego. I was aware of that, George. Hey, Lisa Lopez popping in. Wishing everybody a great day. Right back at you, Lisa. Thanks for join joining us. Thanks, Lisa. Look at that sky, guys. Yeah, that was a difficult one. Jack Rab was all over it. Windows filthy. I'm going to get a chance to clean the window. It looks like it has just started raining. I see some hoods up. A couple rain uh, umbrellas up. Rain attire? Yep. Thanks, Emmy. We'll be doing our night sunset chat again. Wolfgang Productions. Going to walk the dog before the rain? That's all, that's all Josh Dean said Fort Lauderdale looks weird. <laughs> Josh Dean, Fort Lauderdale's changed a little bit. <laughs> With that view, hold the fort for a second and explain what we're doing. Guys, what we're working on is a vintage typewriter puzzle. It's upside down, but it's, it's going to look like this when it's finished. Or you can see it this way. And right now I'm working on the keys. And it's a very, it's an odd shaped puzzle in that some of the pieces don't like, they just like a butt next to one another. So it makes it even like more challenging than a typical jigsaw puzzle. But I'm up for the challenge. Next to us, right over here, is our Lego. I don't know if you can see it. Here, I'll pick it up for a second. We also do, do, we also do Lego builds. If you're new to our channel, we built this Lego typewriter. It's actually like a semi-functioning typewriter. Like you could press the keys, but it doesn't actually, you know, you can't type type on it. But it's all, it, was a, it was so much fun to put together. That's what kind of got us back, in, back to Lego. Because James and I both hadn't done Lego since we were like kids, you know. And then we rediscovered it because I love typewriters. And they came out with this vintage typewriter. And I was like, wow, that's the coolest thing. I'd love to build that. And that got us back into, um, I've done puzzles for like forever. I've always loved puzzles. But that got us back into the Lego was because of that typewriter. So that's why I brought it over. And right now I'm just like, it's kind of, a tough area there's like little guys look what book i started reading little pieces i gotta show them the book i started reading and Are james i'm i'm perfect yeah I'm good. good guys the lego story look at that that's the book i'm reading right now get from a channel supporter was this joe maliga or greg b uh, you know, we're going to have to write down and who gives, uh, us, these? Who gives us each one because Guys, as, look at the as good papers. as my memory is, I, I don't want to say the wrong person. I probably said the wrong thing. You know me. I don't want to say the wrong person and yeah. get it, um, get, yeah. get it messed up. Pouring here in Pennsylvania about 15 minutes ago, Shrubby says it's headed towards us. I love this book. James, I have a um a thing that that you that a challenge that that you can be up to. What do you got? Okay. Hit it, hit me with it. Do you see how this is white like yes, a silver over here? Yep. So I'm looking for like a silverish. Well, you can see in the, what it looks like. All right. If you want to look for that. Yeah, I'm looking. This wouldn't be it, would it? Yes, it would. Boom. Put me in, coach. And there's actually another tiny little piece like that. See, Good. it has a t even a smaller area of it. But that was super helpful. So thank you. Fantastic job. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you in more often. Oh, look at that! The T. Oh, wow. I haven't used a typewriter since I was 12, T.A. Tickler says. I love typewriters. Here we go, guys. General knowledge. You ready? Hands over the keyboard. General knowledge trivia coming at you. 
Now the F is directly underneath the R. And I need the rest of the F. How many pounds are in a ton? How many pounds are in a ton? Do you have another puzzle on board when you finish this one? Yes, we got a dumb... we, have, we have a lot of puzzles. In fact, Greg B just sent us a puzzle, but before that puzzle, we JD have... here got it first. We have another puzzle. JD got it first. Two thousand pounds in a ton. JD here on the board. Extra good. Got with another point. Nice job, JD here. JD here was the first one with two thousand. Yeah, Pookie's. Six, we got tons of them. We got a lot to keep us busy. And we love each and every one of them. Yep. I'm going to save my music questions for when we do a dedicated music In fact, music let's quiz. get the broccoli puzzle. Guys, Marjolein sent us a broccoli puzzle. Yes. And I used the puzzle glue and I have a magnet. I, I... Guys, I'm going to put it back over here. Look, this we 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 attached a oh, magnet to the back. Yeah, bring of it. it down a little lower. Bring it down. Yeah, that's perfect. And I usually have it on the refrigerator. I'm gonna put it back on the refrigerator. Look at that. That reminds James. Do, do they see the bro broccoli puzzle? Do they see it like off into the kitchen over there? Yes. To they remind see it on the James fridge. to eat his broccoli it's daily. It's over here. Anytime I go to the fridge, I'm face to face with broccoli. To remind him. That he must eat broccoli daily. Good for your health. Say it, James. Yeah, it's good for your health. No, you. In your broccoli voice. I eat broccoli. Voice. Broccoli says. Eat broccoli every day. What? What already? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Kilroy lived in Quincy. Oh, Stephanie Sturge. Yeah, I meant to do that as a question. An inspector at a shipyard checking all the rivets and welds that were involved in holding ships together. That's who Kilroy was here was. Kilroy was here. Sailors only began, began to find those markings in various locations of the ship when it needed maintenance. Didn't know the meaning behind it. It caught on in all branches of the armed forces, boosting morale. Soldiers wanted to see how many places they could find it or could graffiti it. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's a great, great, great... That's why we have the best Wait, chat say, on YouTube. Say that all over again because like... Stephanie Stern said, who was Kilroy was here. Right. And then explain the answer because I, I, find, that, I find that fascinating. Kilroy lived in Quincy, was an inspector for a shipyard checking all the rivets and welds that were involved in holding ships together. Okay. Got Sailors it. Sailors only began to find these markings in various locations of a ship when it needed maintenance but didn't know the meaning of it. It caught on... Caught on. With all branches of the armed forces, boosting morale as soldiers wanted to see how many places they could graffiti it. Wow. Shirley just threw up a bunch of broccoli emojis. That nice. Is, that is really cool. Yeah, she saw that. I asked who Kilroy was earlier. I saw one at World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. Nice. That's awesome. Did you guys see the selfie pic of me and Kachina... Prima Pasta restaurant owner. Oh, yes. That was so awesome, Dolphin. We did. Thank Thanks you for, for sending that. We'll definitely be going back there. That was an amazing restaurant. Dolphin put us on to the most amazing mom and pop owned rest Italian restaurant in Miami. Yes. And it's called Cafe Prima Pasta. And we will definitely, definitely, definitely return there. It was so amazing. Extra, extra good. Look at that. I just got the hookup. Fantastic job. Thank you, Dolphin. Look, frankly, I think we need a Broccoli Says t-shirt with this emoji on it. Patricia McMillan oh. saying with a big broccoli emoji. James can work on that. Oh, I'd love one of those. Broccoli Says. I like the idea Patricia McMillan has. Excellent. An excellent idea. How come why not you haven't done this? Yeah, already. What? Nice. I love that you find restaurants where you can take Hudson. Yeah, that's what we love the best. Nice. That's because, a great idea, Patricia McMillan. Because who doesn't want to have Hudson with them while eating? I mean, yeah. come on now. Yeah, it looked like a guy peeking over a fence. 
Broccoli says he doesn't sound like that. Brie Graham's the same. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, thanks for sending that, Dolphin. Fantastic job. Yeah, Dolphin uh, sent us a gi uh, gift certificate so we could dine there. And it was just the, the sweetest thing ever. The Broccoli Association will want royalties. Yeah, Texas Stickler knows exactly, exactly what I was referring to, Jackie Mason. God, our, our chat. You can't get anything by our chat. On fire. They're on fire today. T.A. Tickler, fantastic job. Here we go, guys. You ready for the World War II trivia? Pacific Edition. Name the one U.S. Navy carrier that was lost to attacks by Japanese planes and submarines during the Battle of Midway. What was the only, the one U.S. Navy carrier lost in the Battle of Midway to Japanese planes and later a submarine? Bree Graham's on the money here. Let's get cooking. What was the only carrier? Yorktown, T.A. Tickler got it. I got to give it credit. T.A. Tickler, fantastic job, Yorktown. Jack Rab got it too, but T.A. Tickler got it first. This is his category, guys. He won last week. So he got to pick it. Yep. Explain that and just in case somebody's coming into the chat. Guys, that... whoever, whoever wins first place in each Monday's trivia gets to pick one of the topics, if not the topic, uh, for next week's trivia. Hey, you want to do a Fraser preview? Let's do one Fraser no, question. No, no, we have to cheat. Mm. All right. You have enough. Yeah. It's up to you. It, no, no, I'm ask good. Greg B. Ask yep. Greg B. His opinion. But I figured we would save that. Yeah, we're gonna save. Right. Yep. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one, guys. What does Jerry, on the show Seinfeld, what has he nicknamed his favorite shirt? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. James, do you see any other pieces that have a distinctive letter on them? I, I do need your help. I... Any other if cases? I ever win, I'm choosing Saved by the Bell as the next trivia. Johnny Azaria. What did Jerry nickname his favorite shirt? Not, not the puffy shirt. No. Ski Deeds got it, Golden Boy. Wow. Ski Deeds comes off the deck, off the bench. Now remember, Ski Deeds has won a grand prize Yeah, before. you got to be careful with Ski Deeds, guys. He's dangerous. They're dangerous. The nickname of Jerry's favorite shirt, Golden Boy. Ski Deeds on the board. Hey, Lois Campbell, what's the latest project? Explain to Lois what we're doing. Lois, we're, we're working on trying to complete, it's, it's a tough one, this puzzle gifted to us by our wonderful channel supporter, Olga Barrisonian, and it's been a long time. Like, we started this... Um, you know, a year ago. Marjolene got it first? Did I screw up? Yes, Marjolene got it first. James, I'm putting you in coach. James, I'm putting you in coach. You know what? Why? Yep. Because I have a task for you. Hang on, I got to check this. Okay. 
Yes, Margeline did get it first. And so did Pookie sixth. So Margeline, Pookie sixth on the board. Margeline gets another point. Nice job, Margeline. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. And Pookie sixth. James, this is. I didn't realize so many people would know Golden Boy. This is important. Yeah. I have this piece mm -hmm. that 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 you can find. See how it's mostly gray and has a little tiny inkling. You yep. know how you found that last time? Sure. And I thought that was a really good um, project. A little gray inkling in it? No, see? Oh, that one's still. No, no, that's a different one. Oh, But gotcha. now you're going to find that one. It has, yeah, I'll find it. See, it's just like this, but not that yeah, way. Yeah, put me in, coach. You know what I'm saying? Do yep. you, you think, do you, are you up for the challenge, or is it too oh, many no, chat? Oh, no, I got it. Oh, there are too many chat things coming through. No, I'm through. on it. Because if there's me? too many chat things, don't worry no, about no, it. No, no, I'm on it. I got you. Oh, this is important. Yeah. The K. Now, the K goes directly underneath the I. Yeah. Like, well, not directly, kind of like offset. And then next to it is a J. I'm still looking for the J. And here's the J. All right. So I need to finish this. Oh, there it is. There's the... See, I'm looking still. I need I need pieces that still have specific. Um, if you c come across anything that has a specific letter on it, I yep. need it. All right. Yeah, I'm still looking for this over here. Guys, it sounds like it's raining outside. We'll check in a little bit. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me check on the chat. Hang on. Go ahead. Check on the chat. Couldn't find a raincoat for the gimbal except for disposable ones, James. HC teacher looked up for us a raincoat for the gimbal. Oh. Yeah, what happens is... Yeah, oh, we're gonna... Wolfgang Production 7 says it is raining. We might have to get. Thanks for that, Wolfgang. We, we've tried with a plastic bag in the in the past. DC three two. But it's two now three. happened to us twice. It happened to our boat um, when we went to the boat show. Yep. Live stream that the gimbal stopped working. They're all asking to wet. see Hudson, so right. here we go. Well then, Hudson, if Hudson shall it shall be. There's the Hudster guys. I'm gonna check on the rain. It is in fact raining. On the Lower East Side. Look at that. Because it's finally not raining here in L.A. <laughs> L.A.V. said. I'll send the disposable ones if you want. H.C. Teacher saying. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yeah, we're, 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 we would love that. Thank it you. starts to vibrate crazy. Right, and I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to like. I want. I didn't want it to break permanently. Yep. Hands over the keyboard, guys. It's not good for it to get wet. Oh my God. I'm slowly working on this. Name the Commander-in-Chief of all U.S. Air Forces in the Central Pacific Theater of Operations. Name the Commander-in-Chief of all U.S. Forces in the Central Pacific Theater of Operations. Here we go. Thanks, Wolfgang Production 7. Loves our view. James, look at this. Now I found two more pieces. Nimitz. Joseph Taylor got it and T.A. Tickler got it. James, I Hi. found more pieces that you can find. Yep. T.A. Tickler and Joseph Taylor, Nimitz. Even Paul McDonough got in on that one. Nimitz, Joseph Taylor and T.A. Tickler. There we go. James, did you see how, how I'm slowly getting these pieces? Do you see what's going on down here? Keith Pullman, pop it in. Right back at you, Keith. Hope you're doing well. You say you're good. We're doing pretty good. That was Nimitz, guys. Nimitz. James, do you see how I'm really... Um... Yeah, you're closing it in. Look at this, guys. 
Carlos coming along. I'm still looking for that piece for you. Let me check on that piece. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, I'll get it. There's plenty of pieces now. Look, you have this one, this one, this one. Yeah. Do you see I... them all, James? Yeah, I see them all. No, there's lots that I are know. just like, you know, hanging out yeah, there. Yeah, like this, right? Oh, there's that crooked one. I saw that when I was looking for, uh... Ah. You found one that I'm missing? No, I know which one it is, though. I've seen it. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Hang on. Oh, ah. my God. Look at this crazy piece. I know. Look at how they're, they're, look at the angles. Look at that. I just got that. Yeah. And this is, see, this is. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Boom. Number nine key. You found it. Booyah. Oh, we have a freeway in California called the Nimitz Freeway. Stephanie Stern said. No way. That's got to be related, right? Would James. it be a fun idea if people sent in pictures of their view? That would, that's an absolutely fantastic idea, Marceline. Let's do, hun, let's do on our community page, supporters' views out their window. Extra good. Loving it. Pick Love. your favorite view out your window, guys. Send us a JPEG, and we'll put it on our... You have to email it to us. Email so it. Then, on our, then we can post it. We you can can't, post it. Right. You can't post it yourself. But we will post it if you email it. But give us a chance. You know, we we it might take us a while, but we will yeah, get we to will it. Yeah, we will post it. I love that idea, Marjolene. Fantastic job. Now this H could be this way. Here we go. So there's H and then there's J. Where's my J? Oh, 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 nice. this is huge. Who was the first American woman in space? Here we go. Who was the first American woman in space? General trivia. Let's get cracking. Crack a lacking. Yeah, Wendy, everybody loves the idea. Wendy loves the idea. Hey, surfboard. Let's get crack a lacking, guys. And Paul McDonough is saying the M6 motorway in UK follows the exact Roman road. Remember that? The Roman road, hun? <gasps> oh, my God. Look at this. I just got the GHKL. Look at Sally this. Sally Ride. Who got it first? Oh, wow. Yeah, here we go. Ski Deeds and Joseph Taylor Tie. Ski Deeds, Joseph Taylor Tie. Sally Ride. Nice job, guys. Fantastic job. Trivia is burning up today. Jane Jetson, Chris Bates said. Uh. <laughs> and George said, I can see Norman Ross sunbathing out my window. <laughs> That's going to be your um, his view? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, Johnny Azari is waving the red flag. Johnny, what's the red card? Jay, Patricia was first. Uh. Patricia McMillan gets a two points for that. Because I messed it up again. Patricia McMillan, yeah, two guys, points. Yeah, James doesn't do this purposely. It's just sometimes it's like it's it's the things come on a delay. Of, yep. And then it's like it, my it timing gets, on the chat is different. Right. Than sometimes the thing, but Patricia McMillan, I'll give two points because I messed that up. Right. When James messes it up. Yep. Don't worry. I'll catch you. And Marjolene is asking for no pictures of George in a thong. For the <laughs> outdoor view. Marjolene, very well please, said. Please. Aptly put. George, can you kindly refrain from sending any of those kind of pictures? Yes. Kindly refrain. Send them all to the After Dark channel. James, remember, we still need I'm those. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking and hoping and praying here. Is this it here? Look. Yes. You got it. Boom. Keep on going. We need more like that. And George is saying, Marjolene, don't be jealous. <laughs> Best chat on YouTube, guys. You make it fun. Every day you're in here, you make it fun, fun, fun. Till your daddy takes your T-bird away. 
Jenny. See your daddy. Fun, fun. Yeah, exactly. Fun, fun, fun. I'm looking for a certain piece. A separate piece. Jonathan Knowles. Oh, I think I might got it. Hang on. Look at this. Is that right? No. No, James, it's not don't, right. Don't mess things up. Nope. Beach Boys, thanks God. Dusty Springfield. I still want the bracelet, Carla. Wolfgang Production 7. Cent. Oh, well, I, we haven't seen him, uh, Wolfgang. Be, uh, we have we we were right by there uh, just yesterday, and we haven't seen our um our leather guy. Next time I see him, I'll look for it. Yep. World War Two, guys. Here we go. World War Two. Please name the island. And the Marianas, taken by U.S. Marines and Army personnel in 1944, on which Japanese soldiers and civilians committed suicide by jumping off 600-foot bluffs overlooking the Pacific. Famous battle, guys. Name the island that the Marines overtook. Japanese soldiers and civilians committing suicide by jumping off 600-foot cliffs. Wow, that's not... You know, that's not a... Uh... Saipan. T.A. Tickler got it. Your father was involved in that, yeah. right? Yeah. Carla's that's... father was involved in that. Well, Saipan. that's where he was stationed. Yep. H.C. Teacher was also tied with Patricia. Let me sort out that last one. So H.C. Teacher also gets two points. T.A. Tickler got it. Saipan. Wolfgang Production 7 says, my son was in the Marines. Nice job. Extra good. Now, if T.A. Tickler wins his own category, explain that, hon. Right. It, you cannot win the grand prize if you if you already won a grand prize and, and pick the and category. Pick the category. You you can, right. You we, have to, we have to be fair. Um... You can give your prize, if you win it, you can give it to somebody else. Or otherwise, you'll just get a, the, the, a runner-up prize, and then it will go to the second place winner. I th just think that's fair. Yep. I mean, you know, t what does the chat think? Does the chat agree with me? Let's see. In that respect. T.A. Tickler, does that sound fair? Everly Brothers were in the Marine Reserves. Paul McDonough was in a beast and jumped off cliffs on there in Honolulu. <laughs> there you go. Alan the homie, food and fun. Oh, hey, Alan the homie, food I'd and fun. I'd love to meet you guys for dinner sometimes. Sounds like a plan, Alan. It has to be a place where we could bring Hudson and eat outside. Yep. That's the only caveat. Agreed, C.A.K. says. Okay, good. Chris Harn, popping in. You got your shout out. Nice job. Wolfgang says fair. Yeah, that's fair, right? T.A. Tickler's okay with that. Okay, good. Good. Patricia McMillan says totally fair. Right, because it's your category, you know? Right. Oh, look at that. Here we go. I'm trying to keep it, you know, where everyone can be in the game today. Right. It's, it's family fun. Yep. Oh, my God, I just got that hook up. Guys, it's 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 coming together. It's really re it's 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 happening. Nicholas Cage is the nephew of what famous director? Ah. Nicholas Cage, nephew of what famous director? <laughs> the the fabulous Nicholas Cage movies. I like the Nicholas Cage, like the the stencil of him, and it says Travolta underneath it. I love that t-shirt. Look, I just got that odd piece. Yep, shrubby got... Oh, oh, I, uh oh. Okay, don't announce it yet. Make oh sure. Oh, my God, look at all these coming. You know who got it? Who got it? T.A. Tickler. Extra good. T.A. Tickler and Lois Campbell. Lois Campbell, extra good. Hi. 
T.A. Tickler and Lois Campbell. So don't count yourself out that you won't know trivia because all of a sudden, boom, something yeah, like something that comes, comes out, up. Some esoteric thing and you're like, wow, that's my wheelhouse. Right, I know that. Right. Like if you asked Hudson about pizza or hot dogs. Exactly. He'd come running over and say, I know it, I know it, I know it. Right, I know it, I know it, I know this one. I yeah. know this one. <laughs> the crust. <laughs> look, 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 look at this odd piece, James, that you can oh, find. Oh, I can find that. But that's far from you, I guess. So it's maybe wait, difficult. Wait, 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 wait. I think I see it. Hang on. Let me see it. You're in the light. Let me see. All right. I see it. Yeah, that's tough, though, from way over here. Yeah, don't do that one, then. Hang on. Oh, I see it. Is this it? Is this it? No. 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 Hmm. How about this one? Is this it? Yes. You got it. Boom. Got it. You got it, James. Oh, my God. Look at how Skeet this... Skeet has a red flag on a play. Skeet Eads, what's the red flag? It was Francis Ford Coppola. Ski Deeds, what's the red flag? Did Ski Deeds get it first? Oh, I see. They Lois Campbell spelt it wrong. Oh uh, no, we don't. But we don't mind sp uh, spelling. And so Spell did T. A. Tickler. I'm going to give Ski Deeds a point. He was the first one to get the correct spelling. All right. Ski Deeds, fair but point. But we're not, we're not spelling, if you can understand what they're saying, we're not spelling, yeah, but we're not going to penalize, but that's fair. That's that was fair. a fair. That's a fair red flag. The, the spellings were pretty far off, but I knew what they meant. Oh, okay. They got the COPP and so forth. And you know me? Yeah, I'm down with CPP. Hey, Rafael Rodriguez popping in from Uruguay. It's raining for a few months. If draw... Is it rainy season? Greetings from Electro Locksmith in Uruguay. Oh, extra nice good. Nice job, Rafael Rodriguez. That's a great job. It wasn't just spelling. Yep. Here we go. Jack Rab has a question. He's been doing good with the World War II questions. What year? Surrender What year did the last Japanese sur soldier surrender from World War II? Jack, let me know who gets it. What year was the last Japanese soldier surrendered from World War II? James and Carla, Lupe, Lupe, Lupe is asking, are we going to the 50 Years of Hip Hop style at FIT Museum? Fresh, flying, fabulous. I don't know. Lupe, 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 and let you know. It all depends on whether Hudson can go. Jack Rabb, I'm watching for your answer. JD here got it, Jack Rabb says. JD here got it. Let me scroll back. Going back, J.D. here, got it, 1974. Nice question, Jack. J.D. Very here. Very good, Jack. Nice job. Jack Rab gets a point because we used this question. Nice job. Here we go, general knowledge. I'm doing another general knowledge one. What is the name of Ginny's Pygmy Puff in the Harry Potter series? Oh, my God. Here we go, guys. This is you, Harry Potter fans. What is the name of Ginny's Pygmy Puff in the Harry Potter series? Out comes the Harry Potter fans. Yep. Yeah, C.A.K., fantastic question. What is the name of Jenny's Pygmy Puff in the Harry Potter series? Arnold, Ski Deeds got it. Ski Deeds is either a 
a massive Harry Potter fan. Arnold is the correct answer. Nice job, Ski Deeds. Calypso Kin says no clue. My daughter would know she loves Harry Potter, Wolfgang said. See, I'm trying to get questions. Get her here. involved in the chat. There yep. you go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Guys, look at this, how I'm closing in. Yep, Josh Dean, what's your trivia question? Let's go. Josh Dean has a trivia question. Oh, my God. This is getting huge. James, there's a possibility. Stephanie Stearns. Josh James, there's Dean. a possibility that we can finish tonight. Yeah, you're getting close. There's a possibility. I might need some help. Yep. Joseph Taylor, James, I have a question also in World War II. All right, whoever gets here first, guys, Josh Dean, Joseph Taylor, World War II trivia questions coming up. Here we go. Where am I missing a large chunk? There we go. Type them up, Josh Dean, Joseph Taylor. They're going to be the, at the helm for the next World War II trivia question, Pacific Theater. Yeah, that puzzle will be done tonight, Dean X says. He has, he has faith. He in has it. faith? All right. Yep, Calypso Kin says, wow, Carla. I wasn't sure, but now I feel like I can do it. Like, I wasn't sure when I, when I began today, but I feel like I, I'm feeling a little sense of confidence now. I really, really, really am. Yeah, thanks for explaining that, Jack Rab. I was aware of that. That the World War II ended in the 40s, but the last soldier surrendered in 74. Nice. Where's my... Uh... And there was a lot of POW. Was there a lot of POWs then, yep. too? Joseph Taylor, and then we'll get to Josh Deans. Guys, <laughs> and Joseph Taylor, you have to watch. Where was the USA Pacific Fleet located before Pearl Harbor? That's a fantastic question, and then we'll do Josh Deans. And then I got, yeah, so the first one is Joseph Taylor. Where was the U.S. Pacific Fleet located before Pearl Harbor? Joseph Taylor, let me know who gets it. Joseph Taylor, you're in charge here. Let me know who gets it. A lot of good answers. Chair. Crable got it. Cr Hang on, I'm looking who got it. Is it Chris Harn or Keith Havens? Joseph Taylor, just type the name again. I think you made a typo. Hey, Hearts Wild. Look forward to Monday. Hey, Spend Hearts some time Wild. With. Thanks, Hard Wild. Chris Bates, member, one year, San Diego. Chris Bates got it. Oh, extra good, Chris. Chris Bates got it. Nice job. Chris Bates got it. Where was the fleet held before Pearl Harbor? Chris Bates got it. San Diego. Nice job, Chris San Bates. San Diego, wide open spaces. That's a first thing. Wait, Johnny is already saying, Joseph Taylor said that he got it. Hang on, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chris Bates on the board. The answer was San Diego. Now we do Joseph Taylor's question. No, Joseph Taylor just gave it. Now he gets a point for giving the question. And Josh Dean now gets a point for giving the question. Name one volcano on Antarctica. Oh, Johnny, sorry, just kidding. Name one volcano Justine's question here guys Justine let me know who gets it Name one volcano on Antarctica Whippet Gaming dollar ninety nine pound Hey thank Another you Another treat Gaming. for Hudson Thanks Whippet Gaming fantastic job Josh Dean, let me know who gets it correct Thanks, God. Whippet Gaming, seven channel donations today. Fantastic job. Oh, extra good. Nice Whippet Super Chat. Thank you. Hey, Hearts Wild. 
Justine, let us know who oh, gets it first. Look at that. Ski Deeds got it first. Arubis. Arubis. Ski Deeds gets it. Ski Deeds is dangerous, guys. You got to watch out. And Justine, like I said, I gave you a point for making the question. Here we go. Guys, we're going to do uh, Seinfeld trivia. Here we go. The chat's on fire today, guys. Chat is on fire. What STD does Kramer over-dramatize oh. Oh, no. in front of a group of med students? Oh, no. Oh, I need the charger. What STD? It's all right over there. James, my oh Chris Bates saying my point should go to ARB. Chris Bates, I'll let you keep your point because I was wrong, and ARB also gets the two points. There, that sounds fair. James and the 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 charger is over there. ARB got gonorrhea first. No, Stephanie. No, T. A. Tickler, and Stephanie Stearns tied for first with the gonorrhea. James, and remember, this is a family chat, so no more of those kind of questions. Yeah, because you don't want you know get flagged for that. Right. So. Who got it first, I said? Stephanie Stearns and T.A. Tickler. James, the charger. Alan, the homey food. $2. Oh, thank you, I Alan, the homey food. I did a live stream food. yesterday from the Oculus. Fantastic job. Oh, extra good. The Oculus is beautiful. Yes, Keith Havens didn't hear the question. It's an architectural gem. <laughs> yes. James, the, the, get, it's right the there. The charger, gotcha. It's, it's right over there somewhere. I see it all, yep. We got the white cord, we got the charger. Oh, but you didn't get that other little piece. Yeah, let me get the little piece. Where is that one, huh? In the orange bag? It, no, it would be a little tiny black and white bag, a little tiny one. Oh, I see it. Yep, this one here? No. Nope. Could be. If you bring it over, I'll, I'll peek around orange inside of it. One. Or just don't even bother with the, uh, the thing then. Just, it, it's more important to get this plugged in and right. less important for that kind of stuff. Okay, let me plug that in. You know, over there? No, I don't. You have to come on over and make sure it's charging. Yep. Let me make Guys, sure it's going to be a difference. It yep, it's going to be a difference in the sound because sound. I temporarily had to unplug the mic. Yep. Because, uh, I, you know, we got. I just want to keep on working in the puzzle. I don't want to take the time to uh, get up and look for a mic piece. Yep. If that's okay. Guys, let me give you a rundown on the chat trivia so far. T.A. Tickler, he's playing for Pride only today. He picked the category. T.A. Tickler's in first with eight. Eight C Teacher, four points. Ruby, four points. Joseph Taylor, four points. Patricia McMillan, four points. That's your four-way tie for second. Wow, close. Close today. Close. Hey, Mike Landry, popping in. Welcome aboard, Mike. How come Hope I everybody's doing well. Find that. Yeah, you and Ruby. HC teacher right in the thick of it. Smack dab in the middle of the trivia. Serenity now! Guys, we're heading back to World War II. Here we go. Come on, there's this huge chunk missing. Where could this be? Yep. Wow. James, where could this go? There's a huge chunk. Oh, there it is, the P. Yep, I'm going to need more water when you get a chance to. Yep. I'm putting that over there. And just check to make sure that it is, in fact, um, it is. charging. It is. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. What was the nickname used by Marines to describe the Japanese ships that supplied Japan forces in and around the Solomon Islands and also New Guinea? What was the nickname by the Marines to describe the Japanese ships supplying islands? Oh wow, that's a very specific question, James. Yeah, and it is, uh, uh, where do I see if it's charging? You look at the percentage. You don't have that on view? Oh, yeah, 22. So then so it see. means it's charging. Yep, Tokyo Express, T.A. Tickler got it. Got the right answer? Yep, T.A. Tickler knows his stuff. Let me tell you. 
You know, him and Stephanie Stearns were tie again. Well, T.A. Tickler is also... Um, yeah, Air Force vet. Right. Stephanie Stearns also gets it. Another point for Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie Stearns stole the answer. Are you just kidding, Stephanie? Let me know. Let me know. Look at how Carla's closing in on this, guys. I really am, right? Yeah. I have a ton of Slow. albums to talk about, but we're going to stick with trivia right now. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, you saw my, uh, what was it, uh, Sing Along with Mitch earlier. Still more Sing Along with Mitch, Mitch Miller. James, slow and steady. Yeah. Wins the race. Uh, yep. Remember that turtle on uh, Bugs Bunny? Did I he... do. Yeah, duh, yep. Here we go, guys. Nice job, Carla. She and your puzzle countdown for Carla. Greg B, $1.99. Thank you, Greg B. You can extra give away good. my extra packages if you want. Greg B said. No, oh, no, oh. No, he said he sent two by accident. Oh, okay. We're well, going to we'll, get another we, one. Let's make sure they arrive first. Greg B, we'll let you know when we get it. Yeah, Cecil Turtle, Shrubby said. Yes, Shrubby, Cecil the Turtle. Atlantic Punk, NYC, $20. Give Hudson love, oh. Jessica and Scott. Oh, you have to show Hudson. Yep. Go show Hudson. Thank you. Atomic Who was Punk, Atlantic? N Atomic Punk, NYC. Atomic Punk, NYC. Thank you so very We're much. We're going to stroll studio. over and see the Hudster. Past the studio lights. There he is. Atomic Punk, NYC. The lights on Broadway. Give Hudson our love, Jessica and Scott. James. There's the sleepy Hudster. We gave him a good walk today, so he's not tired. Atomic Punk, fantastic job. Thanks, everybody, for your support. The raid is coming down now in Gotham. You're looking south at the Lower East Side right now. Thanks for making it a great show, guys. We're really happy to be back with you all in New York City. You're looking at the Lower East Side right now from our window, looking south. Kind of southeast a little bit. True South would probably be over that way a little bit. Between that tall building, the white one with the slab on the side, the on the right, and the left building with the white doodads on top, that's Astor Place. James, I like, I like how you just describe it. With the doodads. Yeah, Cecil Toidle. The slab. Shrubby, you're on fire too. Cecil Toidle. The slab off, Jim. Yep. You get my reference? Yep, the, the slab, slab off. off. Slab off prism. Chris Bates has an idea. The winner gets to pick between three trivia options. Three trivia options chosen by a Patreon poll. I love it. Oh, my God. I wow. love it. By Patreon and YouTube members, we're going to do a poll. Wow. That's a really good one. Where the person gets to pick from three choices right now now some there might be people in the chat that do not know what the uh, patreon and youtube yeah, member why don't you is. Explain it, huh? so guys we have a thing where you if you want to he help yeah. support our channel we have page, fantastic idea what's called a patreon and youtube member uh page it's like a a monthly membership program you can think of it similar to like um you know how netflix works like yes. it's a you pay a monthly uh, membership fee, and you get perks. One of the perks is that we do exclusive, we give you access to exclusive videos, like we have a, a monthly live chat for our members only. Yep. We also have perks like we put exclusive behind the scenes photos. But now what yep. Chris Bates is suggesting is that we will put up a poll for all and that means, when we say all, that means all the different monetary levels yep. of membership that you get to decide. Oh, another super chat from Whippet also. Oh, thank you, Whippet. Thanks, Whippet. Fantastic job. So, James, uh, reiterate how they're going to, how... Right. The, Chris YouTube, Bates came up with this idea. Right. Patreon and YouTube members, where you when and these are people who support our channel by giving extra monetary right. support. Uh oh. They will come up with three topics. Right. We'll have a poll. Right. Choosing a couple of different, you know, things that, and we'll put different ones that they can choose. That and they get to from. pick the trivia. Right. For the next week. And that makes now sense. Now, a winner because... is involved. Now, a winner can recommend the trivia category. Exactly. Like today, how we did the split screen. 
Right. We did general trivia from Keith Havens. Right. And then T.A. Tickler said World War II Pacific Theater. Or that could be just another category. That won't, like, as, you know, Yeah, as here's your well. water in oh, the Hudson you. mug. Thank you. Yeah, we'll work it all out, guys. Have you tried the new streaming service, Kick? No, I have not, Rune Sand. Rune Sand, I haven't. I don't stream much, to be honest with you. You mean live streaming? No, no, streaming. Sir. Oh, is it a streaming service or music streaming? Can we do Hudson trivia? Gummy bear, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. Let's do that during his birthday month. Yeah, birthday month, it's all about Hudson trivia. Here we go. Serenity now. <coughs> Mainly because I'm coughing over here. We like that idea. That's an excellent idea. Yep. What was that? Gummy bear thought of that? Yes. Extra good gummy bear. Oh, this is a good one. In Star Wars, who built C-3PO? Oh, that's an easy one. Oh, that's... A, you know, I'm a good Star Wars fan, let me tell you. I'm a dyed-in-the-wool Star Wars fan. Let's see if anyone gets it. Oh, they're going to. <laughs> what character in Star Wars built C-3PO? Whippet Gaming turns 44 on Easter Sunday this year. Oh, extra good. Well, guess sing you happy birthday. <laughs> well, definitely. And I mean, unless it's like ridiculously pouring rain, we'll, we'll live stream from Ski the... Ski Deed's got it, Anakin. Gen, we'll live stream the annual... Uh, Ski Deed's on the board with six, so he is in second right Easter now. Easter Day are. Parade, Hat Parade. Yep, in we'll New be York up there. City, and we'll wish you happy birthday. We'll sing for you. It's an old-fashioned bonnet hunt. 44 years old, right? I'll remember that. Yeah. Okay. Remember, it's an old-fashioned bonnet hunt. It back is. There. We Correct. walk up fifth and hunt for bonnets. Correct. I still haven't gotten that piece for you, you know. It's okay. That's Amore. I don't know why I can't. Some of them Skeet might be. got it. It was they look it. so easy, yet they're not. Yep. You know, you think they're easy. And then... Oh, my God. Gal Dolly Girl Twins found Bob Seger in the Silver Bullet Band 8-track tapes. No. Oh, Dolly Girl Twins. <coughs> we were just listening to the 8-track of Blondie's Eat to the Beat the other day. Fantastic job with that. Carl's going to do a live stream walking with it. Yeah, it's just gonna... that our live streams have been uh, work-related well, we, lately. I mean, we just got back. We're only here a week, you know. <laughs> I'm pumped up. James is coughing and, like... He's just, like, so excited. Oh, Skeet Eats loved the great trivia prize. Skeet Eats oh, got it. Oh, that you got in the mail? Oh, extra yeah, Skeet good. Skeet Eats got it. Yeah, guys, we send really good, I mean, I think, good prizes for yeah, our grand prize And thanks again to Atomic winner. Punk NYC. Yes. Thank you so much for the super chat. Guys, I'm trying to stay on top of all this. You know, it's tough for me. Hey, Transit in Montreal popping in. Hey, Tickler, we have a beautiful working one from Dolly Girl Twins right up there. Let me show it. Go ahead. Let me show you up close. Hopefully, I don't disconnect it. There we go. I'm on my way. Look at that. Well, you can Dolly Girl Twins got us this beautiful boombox, beautiful eight track player. And it has a strap. Carla walks around with it like a handbag. Dylan, James got a Dylan eight track two for you. Dolly Girl Twins, that would be oh sick. Oh, my God. Absolutely sick. Where do you find these things? I don't know where Dolly Girl Twins gets this stuff. Chris Bates agrees the prize package was awesome. Guys, <laughs> thanks, HC teacher. I'm trying. I'm, I'm uh, treading water here. Let me tell you what Trivia Mondays. Here we go. James. Serenity now. I have very few pieces left, James. Yep. But it's, you know, they're, they're, oh, they're tough. Oh, I love this question. And he's in our thoughts and prayers. What TV series launched Bruce Willis's career? What TV series launched Bruce Willis's career? I remember watching it. I thought it was great. What TV series launched Bruce Willis's career? Yes, let's see who got it first. You know who got it first? Stephanie Stearns and Patricia McMill McMillan and George Ty. 
Extra good, guys. Stephanie Stearns, Patricia McMillan, and George, Gorge, Jorge. All, all tied. All three of them. George, Jorge, and Gorge. <laughs> Three-way tie, guys. Perfect job. Love you got that one. I used to watch Moonlighting. It was a very of-the-time show. What, what year would you say that was, James? Yeah, what year was that, guys? Chris Bates is asking. He'll get a point for this. Guys, name the co-star. Name the co-star in Moonlighting with Bruce Willis. Chris Bates gets a point just for a beautiful question. Who was Bruce Willis's? Oh, Stephanie Stearns already did. Oh, okay. All right, hang on. Stephanie Stearns. Yeah, yippee ki -yay. Sybil Shepard. Stephanie Stearns gets a point anyway. Stephanie Stearns answered it already. Right, she came up with the question and answered the question. No, she already said that. Right. But, yeah, but, but Chris but, Bates asked a question. Right, so she was, on, she was already on point. I don't know how that works out, but somehow Chris Bates and Stephanie Stearns get another point. They're, they're on point, basically. Oh, got it. Right, James? Oh, but she got it before Chris Bates asked a question. So that's even, but that's 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 fine. They both yeah, get Yeah, T.A. Tickler gets a red flag. T.A. Tickler, I knew a red flag would be out on the, I, there's red flags everywhere. It's okay. We're, we're kind of loosey-goosey with this stuff. Yeah, T.A. Tickler will get a, get gets a point too. How's that? Right. That's fine. <laughs> there's so many red flags. It was like snowing for a minute there in red. It was like when, uh. In Star Wars, remember with the red sand? Correct. So as we stand right now, T.A. Tickler's in first. Stephanie Stearns and Patricia McMillan tied for third. Ski Deeds was second. So T.A. Tickler, Ski Deeds, Stephanie Stearns, Patricia McMillan. Gummy Bear got moonlighting before Patricia. Oh, wow. More red flags. Guys... It's it's funny, like we said, my chat comes up when I re you know, it's later than yours. There's there's delays. Yeah, Skeety said moonlighting. Give them all a point. See, I got Ramon Pena before all of you. Give them all a point. No, it stands as what came up on my chat first. Okay, fine. Put my foot down right here. Unless someone very vehemently complains. The lights just flickered. You see that? I saw that. The lights just flickered in New York City here, guys. Yeah, I don't know if there's a surge or what's going on. Or there was on. an accident somewhere. Hey, listen, the last time we happened, that then we lost power for uh, five days. days. That was yeah. Superstorm Sandy. Yeah. So we don't wish that upon um, us or anybody again. Michelle Norton was eight years old and saw at the Admiral Theater Mick Jones, Mick Jagger and the Stones video clip of Get Off My Cloud. He was like art and a beautiful thing I've ever seen. Nice. James, do you see how I'm closing? said Golden Girls. Do you see how I'm closing in here? Yes. You the series tanked after Bruce Willis left. I didn't even know it continued on. Whip it Gaming. Yeah, you're on the board. James, do you see how I'm closing in here? Yeah. Nice job, guys. You do see that, right? I see how you're closing in. Look at Carla's coming down the pike. That's all the puzzle pieces she has left. Yeah, I loved Aussie Girl. I loved it. I loved it. May 85 to 89, that show was on, honey. March oh. 85 to May 89. Thanks, Aussie Fly Girl. Here we go. We're going to close out trivia at no. 6, 6 o'clock straight up and down. Okay. But I'm, I'm going to finish the puzzle tonight. No, no, we're going to finish it. But trivia finishes at 6. Here we go. Okay. World War II trivia. My well of trivia is uh, drying up with that a little bit. Name the battle in which Japanese first used the kamikaze. You know that awful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Name the first battle in which Japanese... First used kamikazes. Can't even imagine what went on there. Right. What was what was like in your mind when that yeah. was your, you know, 
That's what you were given. <laughs> Alex Burrell is saying, fake, 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 JLD. Not sure what that's referring to. Let me know, Alex Burrell. Texas Tickler got it. Lighty. Lighty Golf. That was the first time T.A. Tickler got it, as I knew he probably would. They would. Kamikaze pilots would fly manned airplanes on suicide missions right onto the deck of U.S. ships, packed with explosives. Can't even imagine, can you? No. Can you imagine being out there? Well, given that 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 was your mission. Yeah. Like that you were just, you and, were going to die. And I've seen your, the footage. You where, were going to die a, a certain death yeah. for, your, for your country. I mean. Our soldiers wildly shooting at them as the thing keeps coming right at them. Trying to just knock it out of the sky somehow. Can't even imagine. Oh, thanks, Aussie Fly Girl says, love your channel. Always happy when I'm here. That's what we shoot oh, for. Oh, thank you, Aussie Fly Girl. Oh, look, I finally found that, that piece. You know that piece that I had, like, uh, said, yep. oh, can you find it for me? I finally, finally found it. Yep. Yeah, Patricia McMill, nice job, but T.A. Tickler got it first. My dad used to watch this on TV. What's Black that? and white TV all the time. What was I um, referring to? Which What show was that? I don't know. James should be the next host of Family Feud, Mr. Bob Newell saying. Oh I got to get God. a pinky ring, Mr. Bob Newell. I got to get a pinky ring for that job. Oh, what's that guy's um, current um, name? Yeah, Michelle Norton can't even imagine. James, what's the name of that comedian that currently um T.A. Tickler says, is it too late to mention that I earned a master's degree in military strategy and history? Holy <laughs> cow. Wow. Yeah. James. Are you going to glue that puzzle? Yes, we yes. are, D-Nex. Absolutely. Absolutely. Olga gave us this great one. I met a soldier that was actually there when Pearl Harbor happened, George said. Just watched Julia Louise Dreyfus get a Mark Twain Award. Alex Burrell said that's what he was referring to. Oh, extra good. Yep. I think you should set up the apartment with a Merv Griffin set. Jack Rabb. Yeah, I'd have a Merv Griffin talk show like Kramer. If James. we could get different characters in from New York, I'd love it. James, what's that? the name of the guy who's who's hosting that now? That comedian. That could oh, be a good uh, chat oh, question. Yeah. Guys, name the host. Name the host. This is a general knowledge. Who is hosting... Currently. Currently at a family feud on TV right now. Yes, Whippet Gaming. You can add a question. Next question will be Whippet Gaming. Yes. Yes, he's certain. Whippet Gaming can definitely ask a question. Steve Harvey, Mr. Bob Newell got it. Extra good. Mr. Bob Newell on the board here. The 11th hour. It is Steve Harvey. It's never too late, guys. I find Steve Harvey funny. Don't I think he's hilarious. Don't count yourself out. His stand-up routine, Steve Harvey, is hilarious. James. He does one about a nun, sister or someone. Don't you agree? Don't count yourself out yep. in, in the trivia. Yes. Now, red flag, Johnny Azaria says. Uh-oh, someone got Steve Harvey before. Steve Harvey, Iggy Pop, Keith Havens. Who said Steve Harvey first? It looks like Mr. Bob Newell, I thought, got it. Oh, no, Gorge got it. Gorge got it, okay. Mr. Bob Newell, you get a point because I messed up. I almost swore. And George gets two points. Nice job, guys, on the red flag. George got it, but but Mr. Bob Newell gets a point anyway. Keeping us on the straight. Yep, keep me on the straight now. Now, Whippet Gaming, if you're out there, let's hear your question, guys. Whippet Gaming is next. Has a question. Stephanie Stearns, let me know if Whippet Gaming's. Put the question up. One answer I knew, but I was cooking in the kitchen, Wolfgang. Said, yeah, he has perfect comic timing, right, Chris Bates? I find him so funny. James, you are you are noticing Like that. Jerry Seinfeld said, like uh, he said, even Steve Harvey's feet are funny when he's performing. James, you are noticing that I'm closing in. Yeah. Right. James, Chris Bates want me to ask a question. A red flag is. Red flag is the answer. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. Merv Griffin. Who's on Merv? 
Stephanie Stearns, let me know. Shirley just answered Moonlighting. Stephanie Stearns, let me know when Whip It. Gaming. Whip It Gaming. Thanks, Stephanie Stearns is prompting Whip It Gaming. Let's go. We're ready for your question. Yes. Who, here it is. Here it is. Who is the, who was the last soldier to die in the Somme? S-O-M-M-E. That's beyond my scope. Whip it gaming with the question. Who was the last soldier to die in the S-O-M-M-E? Somme. Okay. Whip it gaming. You have to let us know who gets it first correctly. Whip it gaming. You have to let me know. Excuse me. Who gets it first? And this will probably round out the trivia day. <laughs> Shirley's still answering moonlight questions. Down on the Lower East Side there. Internet runs a little so. The Battle of Somme. Who was the last soldier killed in the Battle of the Somme? Whippet Gaming, you have to let me know the name of the person who gets the, quest, the question correct. Right, because it's your question. Yes. There's another red card. No, I got Gummy Bear's red card. If people are answering, let me know who gets it. Stephanie Stearns and me are watching Whippet Gaming. You have to let us know who first gets the question correct. Who was the last soldier to die in the Battle of the Somme? Last question of the day is up for grabs right here. Is Whippet Gaming, Stephanie Stearns, find out if Whippet Gaming, if anyone has gotten it correct yet. Everyone is biting their nails. Oh, this, yeah, this is messed up a little bit. Yeah, don't worry about that now. Yeah. I'm busy. Look, no, James. I got it. I got it. Only there, there's only a few more pieces left. Yeah. James. Yeah, Whippet Gaming gets a point just for doing the question. But now we're looking for who gets it correct. The winner is Bob Dylan Fan Got It. Oh, my God. And what was the answer? Let me scroll back. James. Bob only... Dylan Fan Got It. It was Albert Marshall. James, there's only a few more pieces left. Bob Dylan Fan. So the, the, the trivia game is over for this Monday. Fantastic job by all the chat. The question, the trivia categories were World War II Trivia. General trivia and James's dealer's choice trivia. We had some music. Seinfeld, of course, has to get in there. You know that. You James, know there's going to be Seinfeld somewhere. James, in there. are you getting ready? Yes. Here comes everybody's joining hands, singing "Joy to the World." Carla has finished the puzzle. I'm going to turn it around. And then we'll go over trivia winners. I'm going to turn it around. And then, hold on, guys. Turn the beat around. Love to hear percussion. Here we go. James, here, take this off for a yes, second. Yes, the trivia game is done. Because we're good with that, right? Rune Sand is clapping. James, here, fold this put over. That, put that down. Yeah, put I'm putting down. it down. <laughs> Guys, fantastic job. We're going to go over. Whoops. We're going to go. <laughs> That's what I said. Just put that down. I got we're, it. I got it. We're going to go over to trivia winners in a second. And we'll sort out the scoreboard. Let me bring this to the edge. Yep. 
Emily's saying, great job, Carla. Look at that, guys. Joy to the world. Clark Griswold, guys. Where are you going to put that tree, Clark? Hold on, I just... Stephanie's asking a zero-point question just for fun. What was the plane that dropped the bomb on Hiroshima's name? Guys, the trivia score is in the books for it. We got it written on our vinyl record thing here. You know what, James? There it is. This I'm gonna. Is kind of like. It's beautiful. James, I I, I think this. You got to show the cougar. Much, wait a minute. Janet Simonello saying awesome job. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this one out. Guys, we have to get some more cameras out. Enola oh. Gay. Everyone's getting it. I knew that. C.A.K. got it first, I believe. Bob Dylan fan, nice trivia there. All right, so I'm going to... Carla's getting out the cougar. I'm going to total up no, the not trivia. The, not the cougar. Which one? Oh, that one. The uh, lightweight, right? What's that called? This is the Remington Noiseless. Noiseless, that's it. Dolly Girl Twins saying fantastic job. Dolly Girl Twins. I haven't had a chance to dust it. You know, we were away for a while. but There's look. the Remington Noiseless. This is one of my favorites. Epic this Gaming, is one thanks I, for your support today. Fantastic is, job, wait, everybody. Who, um, hold on, hold on. I got, I got something that I'm going to do. Paul Tibbetts was the pilot. T.A. Tickler saying. Guys, who, who won, who won today's trivia? Who won today's trivia? Because I am going to type them a personal note on my Remington Noiseless right now. Yeah. Guys, this is my, my 1947. Because this kind of goes with World War II. Yeah, 1947, I mean, it's right? a little, you know. Yeah, right in the ballpen there. Bullpen. This is the Remington Noiseless Ballpark. Model 7. Yep. So, guys, I need, I need to know who won That's the trivia. Right because now. I am going to, to type them on my oh, Remington oh. Noiseless a... Uh, you are the trivia... You are the trivia winner. Winner. Okay, the so here we go. The first place today, T.A. Tickler with 11 points. Now, T.A. Tickler does not get a prize package. It doesn't matter. T.A. Tickler all gets a gets a handwritten note at, right. the, at the very least. Right, Texas Tickler. Okay, ready? Yep, Texas uh, Tickler. Dear, or, no, or should we be yes, formal? Yes, we need second place. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta yes. advance the... Um... Guys... Here we Back go. Space. We got a two-way tie for third, and we got a definite second place. T.A. Tickler, fantastic job. Oh, dear. J.D. Here's parents marrying in forty-seven. A. Tickler. Nice. Comma. Yep. Congrats. Then I got to give second and third place. No, I'm gonna. Uh, congratulations. Yep. Wait, backspace. Yep. Congratulations on winning the. Whoops, I think I'm. I'm the. Hold on, I I, I did a boo boo. Carla needs whiteout. Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. The. T.A. Tickler did a fantastic job. Now, I'm going to announce second and third in a second. Yeah, Tom Hanks is a major collector of typewriters. Was Aussie I? Fly Girl said. Trivia. Jack Rapp saying, Carla, take a memo. Mrs. Howiggins. Contest right, Jack? on, what was today's date? 3, 20 what? 27. Yep. Mrs. Howiggins. 23? Yeah. And then uh, exclamation point. Where's my exclamation yep. point? I'm, I'm so rusty with typing. Exclamation point. Uh, there is none on this typewriter. It's too old. Nobody used exclamation points then. No. Period. Period. It's like uh, Elaine with the, with the remember? Yes. Elaine with the uh, exclamation points. Sending, yes. Alan, the homie food and fun got Carol Burnett. Sending Mrs. our Mrs. Wiggins. Ski Deeds got it. To you. Yes. From. I did not pass having to use correction tape. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so glad. Ski Deeds and Alan. The homie food and fun got Carol Burnett. 
Mrs. Higgins. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, wait. I'm gonna show the. I'm gonna show the. Send I'll put a muffin to you, Marjorie. James. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Ampersand. Ampersand. Carla. Carla. Ann Hudson. Ampersand. Oh, you gotta put a paw print on it. Yeah, but I'm done with my typing. Yeah, now you put a paw print. Show everybody. I'll get it in focus. Hang on. The light is all messed up. Here we go. Dear T.A. Tickler, congratulations on winning the trivia contest on 3-27-23. Sending our love to you from NYC, James and Carlon Hudson. Now, notice, this is because this is an old typewriter, look at how it, it skips. skips. Yeah. So that's how you know it's authentic. Right. And you get a portograph. Yep, second I'll, place. I'm going to put the portograph on the other side. Second place goes to Ski Deeds. Third place, we have a tie. Someone new on the board today. Stephanie Stearns and Patricia McMillan tied for third with five points each. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you. Patricia McMillan. How special this Stephanie is. Stephanie Stearns tied for third. You get our typewriter. This is also from, we've live streamed and we've uh, shown, we did a recorded video of how we made this. This is Hudson's actual right paw yes. print. There's a place in the East Village that, set, that sells these beautiful, this is custom but you can get these ready-made ones and you get a typewriter stamp. You get the rubber stamp on there. Yep, there's the Hudson the typewriter. Well, That's the typewriter fit. stamp. Let me see if That's it's okay. gonna you fit. Can go over it. You don't mind it going over it a little yep. bit. I'm pretty sure you gave me a point I didn't earn, James and Carla. Uh, yeah, let's give it to Patricia McMillian, McMillan. Patricia McMillan, you're third place today, uncontested. Nice job, Stephanie. Patricia hasn't been here yet. T.A. Tickler will gladly accept the typewriter note. My cat, N Nyalja, Nigella, Nigella, is Hudson's biggest fan. Look at that. There it is. The Hudson paw print, the typewriter stamp. And then there's a, a very light. I did this one light so it wouldn't yeah, go it over. Yeah, read over it. Exactly, right. exactly. And then make a note on the back in your own handwriting what typewriter that was. Right, this is from, oh, I can write Remington Noiseless. Yeah. Okay, hold on, yeah. I'll type that on T. there. T.A. Tickler will gladly accept it. Yeah, Casey's rubber stamp, H.C. Teacher, you got it. The headline is Jack got busted in the Canadian border with barrels on the lashes. George, I did hear that. I'm Patricia McMillan, the leader today who has never won a chat trivia before. Patricia McMillan showing up in third place. Fantastic job for a first showing. Email us your address. If you, if our awesome moderators can put up our email address. And Patricia McMillan, email us your address. We'll send you a bunch of goodies. Let me tell you, it's worth it. Typed on 1947. Typewriter. Nice. And uh, HC teacher put up Casey rubber stamps and the address. Perfect. Nice so, job. So, wait. So, who gets... Thanks, Patricia who, McMillian. Who, who, was, McMillian. who was... Now, because T.A. Tickler also came up with the... Yeah, and Ski Deeds won already also. Okay. Stephanie Stearns said that she got a point just for... You know, because I met... So, Patricia McMillan... So, Patricia McMillan gets another... Everybody will get everybody that that was a winner. I will do this um, off camera, but yep. you will get a. Oh no! A type, type it right now, real quick. Okay. Thanks, Aussie. So, so this girl. is for Patricia McMillan. Yep, Patricia McMillan. First time on the board today. Came in third place. Fantastic job. And we'll send Ski Deeds, T. A. Tickler, and Stephanie just something anyway. Yes. But a nice prize package will go today to Patricia McMillan. I'm typing it as we speak. Yep. To your Thanks, Patricia. Thanks, Aussie Fly Girl. Says we're so versatile. M C. Yep. And then it's M I. Yep. Right. It's a uh, M C little C big M I L L A N, and Patricia. Got it. Did that already. Yep. Dear Patricia McMillan. Jack Rapp saying you need a visor and a sleeve band. Hip. <laughs> Carla is doing the uh, Kafka typing <laughs> up. Congratulations. On <laughs> winning Dolly girl twins. The Back in the day, drinking hand, cigarette, taking di dictation shorthand. I just joined, sent numerous super chats prior to the super. Hudster never got anything. Oh, who? 
MK says. Oh, MK. We'll send you something. We'll send you. Email Please. us your address. Email us your address, even if you Thanks even mailed it before. And we will. I will even type out a, a, a thank you for you. Yes. On winning the trivia yep. contest. Hold Thanks, on. Lori Lou, for watching and just enjoying the trivia. Three twenty-seven. A big hand to the jury member, Hudson. He's always supervising everything, Josh Dean. You know that. It always has to be run by Hudson. Any decision whatsoever to do with the channel. Hudson takes part in that. Sometimes I just advance the ribbon. Yeah. Ski Deeds, fantastic job. Ski Deeds is typing notes for today's trivia winners. And we're going to send a bunch of stuff. We got some good prizes. Good prizes. Brooklyn Born says, Carlos working nine to five. What a way, what to, a make way to make a living. living. <laughs> oh, thanks, Whippy King. Thank you. I love Hudson. Oh, that's Let's a show. great movie. Working nine to five. Okay. Dabney extra, Coleman, fantastic. Po portograph to all three actresses who yep. starred in that. Yep. Yep. Guys, great job. Okay, I'm on the last line of the of the, the, the message for Patricia. Yep, Dolly Parton, right? But we need all three, please, all three actresses. Yep. And you'll get a photograph. Exactly. Kramer typing. Yeah, so funny, right, Ski Deeds? Stephanie Stern's got it. Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Dolly Parton. Yep. Stephanie Stern's got it first. Fantastic job today, guys. We finished all this puzzle. Here you go, Patricia. We'll send you a bunch of other stuff. And I'll too. put the stickers on the and I'll put the stamps on, yeah. on the back just like I did, guys, I did for TA Tickler. Thanks again to Olga. Thanks for all the participants in today's trivia. You guys knocked it out of the park as usual. Thanks to our moderators, HC Teacher. And let's bring up Hudson. Gorge, Stephanie Stearns, Ed Pake, Nick G. Hey James, can you move that? Can yep. you move this over a little bit? There, there we go. go. Let's bring up the Hudster. Can you bring the Hudster over. Hudson. Hudson, wake up, sweetie pie. Hudson. Where's Mr. Hudson? I step away and the puzzle is done and Carla's working as a secretary. Hudson, Anthony, come. you know how we do it. Hudson, come. Pookie Six, thanks for the great chat. Here he comes. Right Here's back at you. MK, send us your address. We'll get you something going on. Wolfgang Production says, bye, guys. It was fun. Wolfgang, always great to the see you. The Buddy Biscuit. Hudson, hop up there. Bob Dylan fan, you have a great evening as well. Fantastic up, job. Up. Okay. Thanks, Greg B. Thanks for Greg B. For the, guys. For the packages. Whoops. Thanks uh, for... Olga Barrasonian for Olga sending Barrisonian. us this Remington. We'll, and we'll glue yep. it, too. This yep. And this also the... Uh, Hudson Toys. Greg B. Right. The, the the Hudson Toys. Wait, should I go get them? Yeah. Cast of a thousand today, guys, as always. Always something going on here. From De from Dolores. Yeah. Oh, fantastic job, Dolores and Barbara, right? No, not 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 Barbara. <laughs> hold hold on. Oh, he wants <laughs> the chicken. And with that note. Hudson wants his LB treat. LB Original and her mom, Dolores. LB Original, James is, uh, you know. <laughs> HC Teacher will email us about the gimbal cover. Hudson's drooling on the puzzle. <laughs> Alan saying, can't wait. Alan the homie, can't wait to meet us for dinner. Nice job, guys. Yeah, so thanks Atomic for watching, Punk. guys. It was so much fun, and I finished it. Yay! Thanks, Wolfgang. <laughs> thanks, everybody. ARB, the whole gang. CAK813, all our trivia. Just to give you a rundown, HC Teacher ended up with four. Marjolene, two. Ruby, four. Marty Lewis, one. Tomasino, one. These are trivia points. JD here, three. Kristen Hansen, one. CAK813, one. Jack Rab on the board with three today. Joseph Taylor with four. Josh Dean with two. Du Pookie Smith, one point. Lois Campbell, one point. Josh Dean, two points. Chris Bates, two points. ARB, two points. Bob Dylan fan, one. George, three. Whippet Gaming, two. And Mr. Bob Newell, finally, with one. Thanks, guys. Guys, you'll be getting your handwritten uh, trivia Thanks, chat. Look at this. Oh, my God. Here comes the Hudster right Are you standing face. on the puzzle? Oh, He's this on is, the puzzle. It's mayhem. It's guys, mayhem. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching.